Welcome back to Vanguard Tactics. Again, it's Wednesday night, fight night. It's not only WrestleMania week, but it's also Warhammer week, I guess, in a way. Um, I'm joined today with George. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. I'm so excited to use my Blood Angels against your dust. Yes, and if you could not guess, this is Thousand Sons versus Blood Angels. There's a slight spin on the Blood Angel list, which we'll have to go into. On the commentary tonight, we have Sebi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Oh, he can speak. He's not on mute. That's good. And then Damn. we also have next to him, Michael. How are you? Uh, I'm well, thanks. Looking forward to this, this, this matchup. I love to see the Firestorm in action. Amazing. And then finally, it wouldn't be a stream of our, our camera, not you, LPP on our own little camera, who's looking at probably something that you're all probably going to see. Um, awesome. So that is the introductions, I guess, the mandatory things. So I guess let's talk about the mission. Okay. So the mission today is priority targets. At the end of each command phase, each player is going to get five victory points for each objective marker they control to a maximum of ten victory points. The player going second um, will score their victory points at the end of their command phase in the fifth battle round. Now this is different to what will normally happen on one of these missions. In addition, at the end of the battle, each player will score five victory points for each objective marker they control to a maximum of 15. Okay, so we're going to score five for each objective marker up to max of 10 every command phase, including the fifth battle round um, for the player going second. And then we're going to score at the end of the game as well up to 15. Amazing. So, Michael, thank you so much for that. Uh, so, yeah, interesting mission. We've tried to lay out it as best we can for UKTC map one. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, if you're here in the UK, we're using our fantastic frontline gaming terrain, which on the, the little graphic, mm -hmm. you have a little QR code mm -hmm. that will take you right there if you'd like to buy a set very similar to this or this one. And the mat. And the mat. The mat is also frontline gaming. Mat. And the mat. We like your frontline. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, now, we've done that. So let's go over to the armies. So who is starting out with armies? It would be John. Oh. Okay, so as Jake alluded to, we are running... Firestorm Blood Angels. So this is something that I've wanted to run for such a long time. But leading the force is the one and only Commander Dante. Lewis of Baal, I wouldn't run Blood Angels without him. He is going to be running with five Vanguard veterans and also a Sanguinary Priest. And a Sanguinary Priest, I can't remember the name of the enhancement, but he has the enhancement that allows me to turn a hit roll to a six and a save, or a save roll to a six per turn. Um, forged in battle. Forged in battle, that is one. You're forged um, so we're gonna do some spicy stuff there. We've also got Lamartis running with the 10 death companies. That's minus one damage, lethal hits, all the goodness of the death company. They are gonna be running there. So I've got a bit of a difference in this list. We've got a captain with jump pack and he is going to be running with 10 sanguinary guards. Whoa, we're running with 10 Sangard, but the captain has the champion of humanity enhancement to ignore modifiers, which is awesome. Um, then we've got two Bile Predators, a Land Raider Redeemer. We've got five Scouts, two units of five Assault Intercessors with Jump Packs. And I think that's it. I haven't missed anything, have I, guys? I don't believe it. You got your Infiltrators? Infiltrators, yep. So I've got Infiltrators as well, five of them with the Helix Gauntlet. Perfect. So six of Filmer Pain. And All that right. is the Blood Angels. And are you going tactical or fixed, Jordan? I'm going to go tactical. Okay. Mm, I'm very tactical. If you're not familiar with the members' lounges we do with Vanguard Tactics, I yet again had to hear about Jordan talking about Blood Angels. So <laughs> let's talk about something a bit more interesting, and Dust. that being Thousand Sons. So leading the force today, we have Magnus the Red. Very similar to Blood Angels because he's red, but he's infinitely better. It, then you what, mate? we've got <laughs> Harryman, Harriman, Harry Potter, whoever you call him, that's who he is. Mm. No disc, couldn't afford it. Sadly got repo. Mm. Then, but who could afford discs was two Exalted Sorcerers <laughs> on them. They are fantastic. Then we've got two Infernal Masters. Now, one has the enhancement for Arcane Vortex. The other, however, has the enhancement for Lord of Forbidden Law, which we'll sort of gave through during the game. Long and short, one can do more things, the other's a bit more damaging. Then in the battle line slot, yeah, very key there, battle line, key reason I say mm. it, we have six units of rubric. So one is a 10-man unit with all flamers, and then the rest of them, two of them have uh, free flamers and the Soul Reaper cannons, and they are attached with the Infernal Masters. The rest of them just have flamers. Um, yeah, it's just easy, because what makes a game go faster than not having to roll to hit? Then... 
We've got two rhinos. I had to bring Chris Andersons with me because we haven't seen them in a while, so I thought I'd bring them here. Uh, and then leading, and finally, nothing else in the force other than two units of freeze and enlightens with bows because who needs a gun when you have a bow? And that is 1995, what a year. Mm. Was you born in 1995? No. Good. <laughs> oh yeah, you're young. 99. <laughs> I'm a young man. I'm a young man. <laughs> After James Hobbs showing me that on mm. the weekend. Um, awesome. So that is the armies. Now, is there anything else I need to go through? Yeah. Oh, I'm going tactical. Tactical. Because Excellent. I don't want you all to rage at me. Now, before we start, we have to roll to see who goes first. Mm. With on these amazing... These fantastic dice. That leads me into, thank you very much to Baron of Dice for sending us these dice. Baron of Dice do fantastic custom dice for anything. For anything, anything, anything. Mm -hmm. So you've got some with, what is it, like... Like a chainsword and blood drop. They are perfect for Death Company. Yeah, and I've got like a swirly dragon, which is, could be really good for Thousand Suns or Zinch. Mm. So thank you, Baron of Dice. If you want to get your custom dice, check the link in the description. They do some fantastic dice for all sorts, for your gaming clubs or even other YouTube channels. They've literally <laughs> got everything. Like Even like Age of Sigmar, they've got Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they do, they do like, dice for everything. Mm. And even if you don't sit on their website, you can contact them and get custom symbols done. I saw a new gaming club, actually one we know, mm -hmm. uh, get some get a ton done, and they gave me so many compliments on how fantastic the service was and the price as well. Awesome. Um, so guys, make sure to check that out in the description. I can't wait to play with more dice than we have. So should we see who's going it. first? Yeah, you go first. I've got a three. Okay. So <laughs> got to beat a three. Come on, Baron of Dice. I'll we'll take it all back. That's a, that's a six. Ooh, strong roll. That's a six. Strong <laughs> roll. So, Thousand Suns won the roll off. Uh, let's do some tactical cards. Well, before well, that, we have scout moves. And before that, let me shake your hand. No. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 shadow box. <laughs> that's, the, that's the in rage at the moment. Shadow boxing. That's actually me doing that to you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's shadow boxing and press ups are the in thing. Chris Owens winning the GT pretty mm. soon. <laughs> right. So, before we do that, you know, I'll shake your hands. Come here. Come here. I'm not going to hurt oh, okay. you. Thank there we go. Oh, it's very dusty. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> I'll do, do wash my hands. That's right. I'm talking to the camera to back me up on. It's to this right. camera. So, I've got a tempting target. Tempt me a target, sir. Oh, where do I want to tempt you with? That's very tempting. I'm going to tempt you with this one. Okay, so for the camera, I'll put it there. And secure no man's land. So mm. you hold some in no man's land. Again, I yeah. don't, don't, you don't have to pick that. All that. I'll get up to one CP. Um, yep. And then what I'll do, because my cabal points are frying my brain, we'll go to the top down, mute us, so Michael and Seb can discuss, and I will come back to you with how many cabal points I actually I have. I do have a scout move as oh, well, just to make it you clarify. You do a scout move. So do that with the top down. Amazing. As a wargamer, you're going to know how important dice are to the game. You're going to know the memories that they create, whether they're good, the bad, the sixes, the ones. The most important thing is having quality memories with your friends and it goes even further when you've got dice that match the theme of your army whether you play ultramarines necrons orcs chaos marines it really doesn't matter and the dice are a massive aspect of that and it's my pleasure to announce our sponsor the baron of dice check out the link in our description or go to www.baronofdice.com Sorry about that, guys. We were muted for a second. No worries. So, Thousand Suns. Yes. Um, there's Now, there's a couple of bits that can happen here before the cards are drawn. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's the scout move. And you can see those scouts have stepped back into that building. Uh, and then the Thousand Suns have an ability to pick for all their psychic attacks. Now, they can get sustained hits one. They can get lethal hits. And they can get devastating wounds. Uh, Jake has gone for sustained hits one. Okay. And that can change every battle round. Um, they're all very, very powerful abilities. And uh, I'm sure we're going to see sustained hits do some work um, in a moment. Okay, so interesting matchup. This. How do you feel about this game? With the, the 
you know, with that brief glimpse into 40k that you have? Uh, I think Jord will need to stage uh, and set up to get into combat <laughs> with an army that really wants to um, sit back and kind of shoot. I don't know how durable uh, Thousand Suns are with their Rubric Remains, uh, but I'm assuming these Blood Angels will be picking them up when they touch them. I mean, you literally said everything right. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, so the Thousands want to keep their distance, keep firing, keep scoring cards. They have the ability to get some indirect fire through some stratagem support. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the Blood Angels, excuse me, want to cover that distance and yeah. get into combat. So staging, absolutely. Um, now we have the Firestorm Assault Force, yep. which means that they can all advance and shoot. Okay. okay. In addition to this, they're going to get an extra strength on all of their weapons um, with their ranged attacks within 12 inches. So is Jord planning to charge here? Is he going to be just shooting? Like a, a bit of both, I suspect. Yeah. Before we move on, uh, Warmaster Will has super chatted. Let's go Thousand Suns. Chaos for the wins. There's a fair bit of support for the Thousand Suns uh, in this matchup. Remember to super chat, guys. So what you can do is you can super chat, add a comment. We'll hit straight to it when the time is convenient. Um, uh, you know, you can ask us about um, the meta. You can ask us about how this game's going, how certain armies work. Um, you can add a bunch of blood drops in the chat. Um, you've got lots of different options there. Um, and it super, super helps us uh, here at the studio. Okay, so Jake's ready. Let's go back to the table and see what's happened. Well, first off, all Master Will, thank you so much for the Super Chat. And thank you for the game this weekend. We had a great game. Nice. Um, I... Uh, if uh, Will, I, I know you won't mind me saying this because of how ridiculous it was. Um, my casino cannon uh, nearly one shot at dawn. I rolled 17 damage. Oh and was I one... bet you were so happy about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Will, 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 Will is an absolute champion, right? Because mm. every time I've played guard like and lost, I then play Will and then it's like I take all my anger <laughs> out on guard. I'm like, oh, I just hate the so much. And he's there like, yeah, man, yeah. And I'm just there like, oh! <laughs> it's like, it's like trying to kill as many as possible. But Will, you're a champion, one of my favourite paints, so thank you so much for our game. Mm. Um, and it was great to see you this weekend, of course. Um, he also has a really cool Death Call Krieg army with like 100 4 drop models, which is insane. Oh, and like the old he's rolling four it. Yeah, Death yeah, Call. yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. He, it's madness. Mm. He's either rich or very broke now. No, he's a, very, both. He's a very awesome man, that's what he is. Um, <laughs> cool. Awesome, so talking about what I've done, so all I really did, advance the Zango and light and so they can get onto the objective. I went with plus two move with Magnus' aura, I wanted to try and get those objective cards so because of that I managed to get just on here and just on just on here with this unit that's why he moved this way to give the aura out mm -hmm. um, so that's going to give me tempting target and secure no man's land and the other thing as well with the zangle which is nice is if they scouts want to move out I have a reactionary move of d6 nice so I can potentially either get further away or just do a bunch of shenanigans very nice um, so that is my movement phase shooting there's nothing because I can't see anything I'm not in range so that's going to be my turn so I'm going to get Five on Tempting Target, five on Secure No Man's Land, and that is it. Um, I stay on eight Cabal points, because that's how many I had. Sorry, I've got to say. Does it reset every turn, does it? At the start of the battle round, it does. Start of the battle oh, no, round. Sorry, start of my command phase, it does. Right, okay. So, for your turn, I'll still have eight, and then when it goes to my next go, it will reset. Cool, um, right, makes sense. And then, so with that in mind, going into George's turn, I'll be up to two CP. Same. And what cards do you get? So, my cards... Ooh. Defend Stronghold and um, engage on all fronts. I obviously can't score. Redraw! Well, I'll redraw the Defend Stronghold to investigate the signal. Oh. Okay. Well, actually, uh, that's not terrible because the Bow Predator and Dante's unit can do it. So that's four. Do you think Dante's here to investigate signals, Jake? Well, I don't know what he's here, obviously he's here to say, to be honest. Investigate signals. Cool. But yeah, this, right, this awesome. is signal. <laughs> so, don't yeah. you ever <laughs> back chat me <laughs> again. You. <laughs> oh, stop standing boxing. Right, anyway, let me I'm um, start doing press ups. Cool. Well, we, they can go to the top down. I'm going to do some press ups. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I kind of want to just I'm see not, that, but. I'm not really. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, going into George's turn two. Um, well, turn one, even. Turn two, George's turn. And I guess Jake kind of hung back there, scored what points he needed to. Uh, to be honest, a perfect term. Alive, which I suppose is what you term. kind of need to do, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you um, can get 10 points turn one with tactical cards, then you're living it. That's that's exactly what you want. And secure and tempting target are super easy early on in the game. Um, yeah, so, th yeah, yeah. Good, good, good term for, for the Thousand Suns. Um, now it's here to see whether um, Jord can react. 
Um, so Jordan will here be looking at denying some primary points potentially. This mission is quite difficult to deny primary points okay. because it's a maximum of 10. And as you can see from the terrain here, the thousands in the top right can actually hold that objective relatively easily. In order to prevent that being held, Jordan would need like a small unit that could go on there and just add their OC, which I don't believe there is currently on the board, like assault intercessors. What um, I'll get the guys to go through what their reserves are actually in a minute. Because uh, not everything is on the board, unsurprisingly. Yeah, it did look like quite a short amount. I believe yeah. we're missing at least a Bile Predator on the There's table. There's at least a Bile Predator, 10 Zangard, and probably both jump pack units uh, would be my, my guess in uh, Deep Strike. Uh, and then I think we've got some Rubric Squads in Strat Reserve. But we'll confirm that in a moment. Um, yeah, guys, how are you how are you enjoying this matchup? Who do you think is going to win? What's your favorite unit from each army? I've seen some chat about Magnus carrying the Thousand Sons, and I think that's very, very true. Okay. Um, there's a lot of... Yes, this this one's going to heat up very quickly, uh, and there are a huge number of flamers and melters uh, available on the field, on both sides, actually. Yeah, nice. Uh, we're seeing Dasma Wargaming in the chat. Nice, Hi, Daz. Nice. nice. Hello, Daz. You. You well. Got Mandy. Um, Welcome Mandy. back, Mandy. Great. Um, Little people painter, can't get yeah. rid of that one. Oh, right. Okay. Um, oh, no, don't left. walk off, please. We need you on cameras. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. What do you guys think of this matchup so far? Do you play either of these uh, factions? What kind of predictions do you have for this game? I'd love to know, and we'll see that in the next movement phase. But it seems like Jord is done. He's questioning something. He's questioning something. He's done. So let's head back over and uh, see what he got up to. Okay, so it's been pretty much the same as your term. Not, not really doing too much because I don't think either of us want to overcommit. No. Um, we've got some very heavy hitting units. Yeah, so I don't know who you're calling heavy, but... No. Magnus. Yeah. Um, oh, he... <laughs> thank God. <laughs> but the company say. and Dante are going to investigate some signals, get me some points at least, because yeah. engaging all fronts is kind of impossible for me. Because if I move these scouts in the middle, these chickens will just fly away. And I don't want now. I want to burn them. Um, I want to cook them. Um, want some cooked so we're chicken. Gonna, we're going to cook some chickens, turkeys, whatever they are. Um, Bile predator, like everything into there. Obviously, so not the hunter killer missiles. Real quick, can you guys run through your reserves? Oh, yeah. So yeah. I've got um, a unit of rubrics and two exalted sorcerers on discs in strat reserve. And in my rhinos, I've got the Infernal Masters with their rubrics, and in this one, I've just got rubrics. Okay, yeah. cool. And just quickly, while we're on you, Jake, uh, what was your cabal point total? Uh, eight. eight. So okay. I still have eight. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do with eight to react to Jord, so I'm just not. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. Uh, Jordan, reserve? So in reserve, I've got a Bile Predator, I've got a 10 Sanguinary Guard and a Captain, and then two units of Assault Intercessors with Jump Packs. Um, so a lot still to come down uh, okay. for both of us. Which is why we're being very cagey, I think, turn one. But don't worry, the blood will start flowing or I'll start burning some dust. Um, I'm burning but you. <laughs> I'll burn you. I'll burn you. <laughs> well, flame on, let's go. Fire predator, so flame on. We're not with the human torch. <laughs> um, two heavy flamers first going into these angle. Okay, let me get the stats up. You, you just gave through. So I've got eight shots. Yeah, uh, I'm tough as four. Cool. I'm right in saying, Mike, that if I'm within 12, your strength six plus, currently. Strength six, so yes. toughness four. Four. Six. So threes. Sweet. There you go. Take seven saves, please, sir. Uh, is that AP? AP one. Ignores okay. cover. So this is going to be six ups because they have six of invol. Uh, they're all dead. They have two wins each. Didn't even get to shoot the big cannon. Well, well that's good then. <laughs> nice. Anyway, do you know what? Forty-five points for five VPs. I'll take it. I'll yeah. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. They're only forty-five points. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're well some... cheap. Oh wow, bargain. They used to be... Barking bucket, eh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I used they to, are now. <laughs> I, I, I used to, unashamedly, I used to own 27 of them. 27 chickens? Yeah, these these ones to be exact. Um, this is that exact guy. back in my day. Mm. <laughs> back in your day. Yeah, when they were really good in AOS and they were really, really good in the chicken day. farm. Yeah, when, yes. Yeah. When I was Colonel Sanders. Colonel and Sanders. And I retired to play Warhammer. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> I can buy the way. Would have made so much money. Anyway. Right. On to my scoring. So I'll get four points for investigate signals. And I'll get nothing for engage. But I'm going to discard it for a CP because I don't want it. And I want CP. That's okay. true, I guess. Yeah. And that takes you both up to three CP each, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'll go what, up to four. in. Go four into four, my turn. Course, yeah. I'll go up to three. So I'm going to get ten primary. Uh, yep. Because I hold this one and this one. Mm -hmm. Cards-wise, behind enemy lines. I like it. Cool. Not um, completely. Pot of green. 
and engage in all fronts. Oh, Again, never mind. Just uh, imagine just... if there was a card you could draw that just lets you draw two more cards. That'd be sick. Mm. Pot of, pot That'd of be greed. so powerful. Pot of greed, the card. Right. Pot of greed. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, if, um, and then Cabal point wise, I'm still gonna have eight because I've got Araman and his unit and Magnus on the table. Yeah. Um, the guys in Ryan's don't count. Cool. cool. Chickens yeah. don't count. They're not psychos. Uh, no. I let them no, team down. Just really, chickens. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah. So if you get to the top down, mute us. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Great. Chat and Mike, I've got a question. If we're playing 40k and I'm drawing my secondaries from Tactical, and I draw a pot of greed from Yu-Gi-Oh, and say I get to draw two more cards, what are you doing? Uh, well, I would probably activate my trap card, Magic Jammer. Oh, nice. Which would, uh, I could discard a card from my hand and then you'd have to ditch Pot of Greed and you wouldn't get its effects. Wow, okay. That's, um, that was lame. Um, anyway, on to the game. I mean, still not seeing anything. Yeah, well, it's all about those reserves. It's all about do the reserves. You, what do you think Jake will do this turn? Do you think we're going to see any commitment? Um, well, they're both afraid of commitment, <laughs> um, as we can see. I think we're going to try and go for behind enemy lines, I suspect, um, with a cheeky move in the shooting phase uh, which is really handy because um <laughs> oh, with a, so the thousands have a ritual so they have cabal points which we've kind of mentioned they can spend cabal points to do essentially stratagems okay that cost cabal points one of these is to move again in the shooting phase that's really nice now this is super powerful because it means you can't get overwatched is that after or before you shoot uh, it's just in the movement phase. So you could you decide? You could, yes. Oh, that's really I believe. Good. Jake can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm curious about that. What's that? Um, do you, can you shoot an, or, bef before or after the Cabal ritual? It's start of the shooting phase. Start the shooting phase. So, the shooting phase. so you have to shoot, shoot after um, mm, you've double moved. Okay. Not as good as I thought it was, but still mm. good. Yeah, fantastic. Because um, that would have been nuts, being able to decide when. Um, because that's such a strong ability, being able to move after you shoot the shoot and scoot. Yeah, any um, way of moving in the shooting phase is insanely powerful. We've got Dante Pinks in the uh, chat as well. Hi, Gareth. Hope you're well. All right. Okay. So, what cards did we get for the Thousand Suns? Um, uh, engage, engage and behind. Engage and behind. Actually, okay. So, very, so, it is worth sacrificing at least one unit to get behind because that will also score potentially engage on all fronts. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But Magnus is coming out. Magnus is coming out. Magnus ain't scared. Magnus is not scared. He's he's going to be him in front of the whole world. <laughs> I am him. Oh, oh no, <laughs> he's, okay, he's not. He's not He's him. changed his mind. He's not coming out yet. <laughs> he's not that guy, pal. He's okay. really not that guy. He's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he is gone. Um, okay. Yeah, interesting. How, so the threat range of the Bile Predator, I don't know how lethal they are, but if they can move and shoot, can they and, move and advance shoot? and, and advance and shoot. Yes. That's obviously they can move and shoot. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm curious how lethal they are. I'm assuming they're not going to do anything to Magnus, right? Uh, well, I mean, they could do some damage to him. Yeah. Uh, it'll be difficult to wound him. Um, their strength seven and six, so it's a little bit easier than normally. So it'll be fives to wound on most of those, uh, and then it's damage two. So depending on whether Jake's gone for minus one damage, which is an option on Magnus. Yeah. Um, if he hasn't, then he's probably looking at playing Magnus a bit more cagely. But if he goes for the minus one damage, he's probably going to end up in a turn where he's committed. Okay. Yeah, nice. um, so uh, what we'll see here is more play for the objective markers without expending too many assets. There's some discussion at the table about this guy that's dropped on the left there, just coming from strategic reserves. All right, Jake oh, is ready at the still. table. Okay. Right. Done that. So uh, Magnus has gone minus one damage and he's just angled himself so we can see that battle predator trying to do some wounds to him. Um, I am going to pop the one CP to reroll his hits and wounds uh, just to try and really okay. get that damage in there. Um, and he's got sustained as well because mm -hmm. most of his attacks are devastating. So I'm just thinking, the thing is in this list, I know a lot of people would probably say devastating is much better. Actually, in this list, there's not a lot of psychic attacks other than these guys. Yeah. So while they're in their little tanks, it doesn't really make much sense to go anything but sustained. Do you get to pick every battle Every, every um, command phase. Like oh, okay. So you get, to, you get to change it throughout the game. Yeah. Um, cool. And then Sangor, Enlightened, a.k.a. Exalt with Sorcerer on Disc, has just come in six inches, nine inches, not in Jaws deployment zone, and is going to do the double move at the start of my shooting phase to be able to get me behind enemy lines for free, and I'll get engaged for five. Mm, very nice. Great. Um, so let's do that. So... Spend five Cabal points to double move, so we'll be on three left. So 
This will mean this guy is just going to go. Whoop. Go that. So I will just leave the CP because I suspect we're going to be moving through the turn um, pretty quick. Can you just double check that behind enemy lines um, isn't unbattleshocked units or oh. battleshocked units? Oh, can you keep me six away? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh no, I can do it with just, it just says any unit. Any unit. Yeah, so I'll, just, I'll just him. stay it so I can roll it and then you'll okay. go, yay! Yay! That you can really scary! <laughs> um, thank you, they're very sporting. That's all right, mate. Um, and then another thing he does at the, oh, he does it, oh. Do you mind if I use his ability? Absolutely. Yeah, it's it. at the end of the movement phase, I pick a unit within 18 inches. Um, is it visible? Is he visible? It, it, hey, sorry, oh. it's, I was just going to see, because he, he definitely, I didn't want him to be visible the land raid at the time. Right. So I'm going to do it on Dante's unit. Mm -hmm. On a two plus, you'll be half move, half advance, half charge. So is this actually a Zangor dude or is it a... No, no, he's an exalted sorcerer. So this is an exalted sorcerer. Yeah. If it's disc. easier, yeah. I've got the actual He got turned one. into a chicken. Yeah, you may as well for now, yeah. right? Because I we'll suspect he's not long for the so, world. Just so then it doesn't get confusing. There we go. Nice. Um, so on two up, you'll be half move, half advance, half charge. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's big. So that on Dante's fun. unit. Um, now what's really cool is you can actually use this on any unit. So if I did have line of sight on the land raider, I could have done on the land raider. Interesting. Just something to note. Okay. Right. So that's all of his stuff. I'll come back to his shooting. That's fine, mate. Um, actually, you can't shoot me back with that, can you? Uh, no, because I didn't disembark from a transport or anything like that. That's right. Let's just do a shoot now. It's a lot easier. So D6 shots. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So D6 shots. One. <laughs> it's torrent. Strength Classic. six. So freeze. Nothing. The fear of oh, Dante has got into you, mate. Don't waste time for everyone. <laughs> uh, and then just a normal bolt pistol. He misses. Go. Cool. You try to shoot a bolt pistol, eh, Dante? Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway. Don't touch me. You're on my side. <laughs> for once. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, Magnus time. So, spending the CP for re and wings. Mm -hmm. So, let's start out with a gaze of Magnus. So, he gets five shots. Cool. Um, he's going to be hitting on twos, and they are sustained, so I'm going to pick up anything that's not a two. Well, we did say he wasn't coming out yet, but that doesn't mean his friends haven't already. Yeah, And then, true. what toughness is about for uh, Ten. So, I'm going to strength nine, so normally I need fives, but I have plus one on wounds, 24s, and I can re-roll all these. So, cool. I'm just going to... Oh, oh, okay. So that's Damage. 12 death wounds and two oh, at my... Oh, flat three. Oh, he's dead, mate. Yeah. He's oh, dead. okay, cool. <laughs> right. So, does it explode? <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Calm yourself, <laughs> big dog. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Next challenger. Next challenger. <laughs> Next challenger. <laughs> um, awesome. Uh, that's it. That was a nice quick turn. Yeah, yeah so, nice. um I'll, oh, I'll, oh. I'll, I'll do your battle shot. Sorry, I was, oh. would it be okay if I rapid ingress? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that up when it comes to the yeah, top yeah, down. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm okay for the battle shock. Cool. So I'm going to get three on behind enemy lines yep. mm -hmm. and five on engaging all fronts. Awesome. Right. So you'll go up to three CP in my turn. Yeah. I'll go up to five CP. But you're gonna, you would have spent one. Spent one for so four. So. Yeah. Just go on the top down. Do it now. No problem with that. Cool. And then do your cards because obviously I don't like just in case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we'll do it somewhere where it's not going to affect anything on the game. Is that nothing's in? There's here. nothing in there now. I had a feeling they were going to come there because <laughs> so, there was a debate of moving them in, moving my rubrics into here. Yes. But then the okay. problem is he just puts them there. Yeah. So. Yes. It's yeah. Like, and so, the only way I could do it is if I strung the unit out quite so, large. So Jake's been kind enough to to let Jord retrospectively rapid ingress the Sanguinary Guard, which is huge. Um, not only does it get him five extra okay. primary points. Uh, but now this is an incredibly threatening unit in the middle of the board. Um, so this could be a problem for Jake. What a nice guy Could be an <laughs> a big, cool. big problem. Cool. We're playing 10th um, edition, guys. So now it's the start of your turn. <laughs> yeah. So God. if you do your cards. Cool. So what do you get? Assassinate and behind him in eyes. No, oh, you know, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> it's no your way. fault. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So Awesome. We'll go down to, or to top down and yeah. we'll crack on. Yeah, okay. sounds good. Wow, um, that was unlucky timing. Looks like um, George got the heart of the cards. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an interesting one, right? Because if you could, you could set it up so that a psyker could see the sand guard. Yeah. And then you would probably fire the entirety of Magnus indirectly at the sand guard to pick them up. Mm. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Um, but yeah, very. Very generous of uh, Jake to, to let those guys land there. What a noob. 
<laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, I couldn't be me. I could never make that mistake. <sighs> Evening, also, Mandy disgustingly resilient. Oh, we've got Ben Jones. Hello, well Ben. Hi, Ben. Hope you're well. Um, and go for it, painting. Hello, hello. Uh, and Mephistane. Hi. You don't have the hair to be as good as Magnus Serb. You should work on that. Well, okay. Didn't need to call me okay. out like that. Well, um, I'm also not growing my hair out that long. Um, Are you going to dye no it pink? Um, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not. Dumble Dante, an entire army of wizards must control Harry Potter puns. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pretend I didn't say that. What was worse? He didn't say second round of shoot. Injected 14 damage with another round on my second dawn. Oh, my. Ouch. Wow. Ouch. Oh, again. Um, we've got this discussion going on about what these Sangard are going to do. Mm. What are your predictions? Um, so... It makes the most sense because this unit ignores modifiers to run at Magnus and try and kill him. Um, however, there is the opportunity to take the home objective and kill a character and get behind enemy lines. So there's a couple of different options here um, for Jordan. Uh, there is potential overwatch yep. from Magnus. Um, the Flamers unit behind the wall has obviously not got line of sight. Uh, so there's going to be no overwatch for them. Uh, so yeah, interesting. So Overwatch and Magnus is your prediction? Or? Uh, I would predict that, yeah, just to try and mitigate some of the damage that's incoming. Um, yeah. Jake's thinking about it. You can see him yeah. thinking. Oh, done it. Sorry. He's I done it. Done it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but even so, you know, Magnus can be surprisingly tanky. Yeah. Um, you can blank uh, a couple of saves uh, with him. So we'll see if uh, he can survive the night. You okay, Billy? Oh, you just looked very expectantly at that. Um, I like this shot that Billy's got lined up. Of <laughs> he, that's not even painted. What? <laughs> I can't actually no see from here. Metal colours on there. <laughs> so you got the wrong tank. Anyway. Um, oh, we've also got some inter, uh, infiltrators here as well. Yes, we which do. I believe, if we look at top down, that's that bottom middle objective with like the L building, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and they'll basically be screening out any deep striking, right? That's right, yeah. You yeah. can't deep strike within 12 inches infiltrators. Uh, really, really handy. There isn't a lot of deep strike with the Thousand Suns in this game anyway, um, but it's a safe unit to just throw on the backfield to prevent strategic reserves that close. Um, yes, it looks like the Death Company have come out to hunt some chickens. Uh, there's Angors. Yeah, this could be a fair bit of damage um, this turn. <laughs> Minus 10 points for that, Jordan. <laughs> for the vile bread that's not paid. Manny's throwing shade. Um, <laughs> wouldn't T Suns have murdered those Sangard if they knew they were in the shooting phase? Bit of a crazy take back. Uh, um, look, we're, we're good guys around here. That vile bread was still quite a threat. So it's an interesting one, right? As a point of discussion. Yeah. Um, would Jake have got line of sight with a different Psyker against the Sanguinary Guard? And then could he have. Shot them indirectly with Magnus with all of his shots with raw hits and wounds. Yes. With the cabal points for moving in the shooting phase after he sees the rapid ingress. Is that what you mean? Yeah, okay. exactly. So yeah. you can l line it up and then he could have annihilated the Sanguinary Guard unit. Um, okay. It looks like there's some discussion. Yeah, th there's some it. discussion. Uh, I don't know whether it's worth taking that back or not. Yeah, I think there's some discussion on, on what Jake could have easily done. Well, that's fine. That's, I think we shouldn't dwell on it too long, and we'll hear from them in a second anyway. Um, so in terms of scoring, what's it looking like for Jord on this turn? So um, Jord's a little bit behind, um, but he does have two good cards yeah. uh, for this turn, um, but obviously kind of relies upon that Sanguinary Guard unit. Mm -hmm. um, Making it onto that objective of a charge, is that... What's that, sorry? Making it onto that objective of the charge of the sand guard. Is that why it's uh, important? Or? Yeah, because any assassination or, or getting uh, behind enemy lines yeah. um, is uh, a big issue. Um, so uh, what I could what I could recommend to the guys is, um, as, as a compromise, guys, would you consider maybe a jump pack assault marine unit instead? Because um, Jake's less likely to put fire into them. So I'm saying I'm you could still score it. points. So I'm saying I'm fine with it. 
Okay. It's just obviously, it's what George wants. I'm completely fine with him doing this. Let's just go. So, yeah. I don't want to have an advantage of, of like a big. I didn't realise that obviously you could have obviously jumped out and shot me. Well, no, in, say, in the, in yeah, because what, the, say what, that's basically what we're discussing is what I was trying to clear up to George what the chat was saying, where when he rapid ingress, Araman then double moves and then uses his free. And it's big, and I, I didn't know it. that, so I don't right. want to obviously have that advantage over Jake. Because um, the thing is, I was always going to rapid ingress. That was always like something like we knew it was going to happen, yeah. but we got past it and I completely forgot we'd gone past that stage. So mm -hmm. that was why it was brought back up. But because of this instance here, it's a bit different. Yeah. So I think the, the best thing to do is just take the sanguinary guard off. Yeah. That, if that's what you want to do, I'm happy. Uh, let's take it off just, for, just to make sure it's oh. fair. I don't want to have any advantage and yeah. stuff. So what we'll do is we'll take them off and I'll put them into deep, keep them in deep strike. Well, you can bring them down this turn. There's no point. They're a rapid no, ingress unit. Fine. So, so we'll, yeah, so you can do it next turn. Oh. I'll do it next okay. turn. We'll show the sand guard off later. Yeah, yeah. nice. Okay, so nice. I apologise for that chat. That wasn't something where I was trying to gain an advantage. Or no, 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 like that. no. Was... I don't think anyone would think that anyway. So that's Let's fine. these back. And yeah, as the... a, to be clear, I'm 100% fine with it. And if the person says they're fine with it, they're fine with it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> right? And I appreciate, obviously, people saying it's a big advantage and stuff, but... Some, sometimes it is the case of when you play on stream, when you are going a bit quick, it does allow you for those moments. Uh, absolutely, and you don't so, have a full understanding of your opponent's army necessarily. Yeah. Well, no, I knew he was probably um, going to rapid ingress, I just yeah. didn't know when. I, I, <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, it'd take five points off my score as well, because I wouldn't have had this objective in the middle. Well, you could have dropped down and assaulted, jumped into the squad. If you want to do that, I'm happy. But again, you could have then jumped out. So look, no, no, it, I wouldn't. I, I would not jump for that out squad. For five assault intercessors. It's probably not worth I it. I would right? jump out for the unit. Mm. Okay. If you would like to, you can do it. I don't mind. No, you we've gone it. past it. Let's just move forward with the game. Let's okay. keep going. Okay. Let's keep okay. going. Yeah, nice. Um, right, so shooting phase. Um, we'll go with these Inferno pistols <laughs> into dead. the Not chickens. So. <laughs> They're dead. That's well, something we can all agree The on. reason why we're all here is obviously for Dante. Well, I can, because I never overwatched that. That's fine, that's fine, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, right, Dante is going to shoot his Inferno into that one. I'll let you do the thing, because oh, you're really oh. excited. Okay, right, I'm just going to... So oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, ah! The skill is good. <laughs> the skill, I can't take it. <laughs> right, what D3. a play. <laughs> oh, that was okay. awful. Right, uh, two. Excuse me. Right. <laughs> uh, two. two wounds. Um, four up. One fail. So D6 plus two. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's dead. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Uh, Pass me, and he'll come back later in the game. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> as, some, as not. <laughs> That's that guy. Right, so... That's going to be the... Oh, I was going to attempt this charge here. So yeah. we'll attempt the death company into the... the like a seven or something, right? That's not That's seven. not it. You I have got about a billion command I'm going to spend a CP. Oh, no, I don't need to. They're death company with jump packs. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they could just re-roll it. No. Cool. Anyway, cool story. Um, <laughs> so I get five points for assassinate. Arguably not a cool story. Not a cool story. Um, um, and I'm going to keep behind enemy lines. Yeah, that's a good shout. So five points for assassinate. You're going to keep behind enemy lines. So going into my turn... I'll go up to four. I'm up to so six. So now at turn three, ten primary for me. Yep. Um, Cabal points is still going to be eight. I actually wanted you to kill that rhino because then I would have had a lot more. Mm -hmm. and I could have maybe done a few more tricks. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. I didn't. <laughs> um, deploy teleport homers. That's really good. And investigate signals. Equally quite good. Mm -hmm. So, again, if you go to the top down, mute us. Yep. Uh, are you almost done, Mike? Um, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm just changing the graphics. Okay. Oh. I just want to look, there's a super chat that I want to read out. I just want to Up in the eyes, uh, uh, so Oh, and I'm going to go, three. the other thing I need to know, I'm going to go Devastating Wounds this turn for my Cabal Wrist Rule. Okay. Great. And we've had, I don't know, Ooh, Neil, yeah. I suppose, has come in with... Are we muted? A super chat? No. Oh, oh, I was just going to be super Yeah, sure. Right. Real quick. Um, love seeing Blood Angels play. I'll be playing with mine at Oxford GT in a couple of weeks. Can't wait. Love the stream as always. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. And Blood thank Angels you for the super chat. Yeah. What, um, what detachment are you running? Sons of Sanguinius? So, uh, <laughs> this is the Firestorm detachment. No, I was talking about the, um, oh. Unil, I'm curious. But oh, yes. Let us yeah, know. We're running the Firestorm what are you here? running? What are you running? We've got the Firestorm detachment on show here. Um, but obviously Jordan has played Gladius before. He's played um, Sons of Sanguinius. Um, so yeah, let us know what you're planning to run. Yeah, sorry for the confusion earlier, guys. Um, but it was good to clear that up. And I think that's probably the, the simplest way we could have done that. I, I, I think so. Um, so it, 
Thousand Suns have a deceptive amount of tricks to um, tackle their opponent, regardless yeah. of what they do. And it's quite a difficult one to actually foresee. Yeah. Uh, is that stepping out of a building, get a line of sight um, on, on certain units. So it's interesting to see here already a bit of counterplay for rapid ingresses and such, um, and sort of a show of, of sportsmanship from both sides there. Jake's happy for it to happen, um, and Jordan's obviously uh, taking it back because he feels it was a bit of un- an unfair advantage, knowing what could have taken place. What could have been. Uh, exactly. So um, both being great opponents, which we are, of course, championing um, here at VT. Oh, Neil's running Sons of Gwinius with free 10-man bricks of Tef Company. Wow. Wow, what a baller. <laughs> yeah. George, stamp of approval. Did you hear that? 30 death company. Yeah, 30 death company. has got a bit company. low in these times, hasn't it? <laughs> it's yeah, 30 yeah. of the guys have fallen into the range already. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. That's really strong. I think death company are in a really, really good place at the minute. Um, they are, well, with jump packs. I think there is an argument for them on foot <laughs> at the minute, but I'm still a massive fan of the jump pack death company. I think the 12-inch move is massive, um, and you don't have to pay points then on a transport. Um, to get them there, and I, I genuinely think that they, the innate reroll charges is amazing as mm, well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, obviously getting the reroll hits is fantastic. But I think there is an argument, especially in Suns, to run units of five without chaplains. Uh, you're saving seventy odd points on the chaplain, or 140 if you're taking two more, because um, you don't actually need the OC on them. Their whole purpose is to get in, smash something, and literally kill it, and they can trade quite well. Um, so I think yeah. 30 Death Company is baller, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, well, awesome. let us know how you get on, Neil. Speaking um, of Blood Angels fans, yep. Clayton Sanford's coming with a super chat. Come on, Jord, take down those heretic scum for the Emperor. Can't nice. wait to see your Sanguinary Guard go off. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> they did um, just go off. I'm still much, very right? doubtful about Sanguard, I'm not going to lie. Um, that, that unit is a 450-point unit right there. Um, it's extremely expensive. Um, and unlike my other combo where I have the 10 Vanguard and um, veterans with Dante and the Sang Priest, which is the same points, however, they can tank a lot more and mm. can hit harder. Yeah. Um, and whereas the Sanguinary Guard, I just wanted to run them because I love them. So Fair anyway, enough. Jake yeah. is ready, I uh, think. Just Great. before we jump to you, Jake, sorry. Oh, Clayton nice has also things. gifted 20 yeah. Vanguard Tactics memberships. Um, so you, definitely get involved with the memberships. There's a huge amount of perks. Uh, Jordan, what can we expect for, for members? So members, we obviously every Friday, um, besides this one, there's a special reason why, but every Friday we will be doing a live stream at 10 a.m., which is open to everyone. However, if you are a member, you get to chat. So you get to actually communicate with us and let us know how you think in the game's going. Um, and you also oh. get to vote for the armies. So there will be a poll go up on the community side of the channel where you get to vote for the factions being played by the players. Um, so that will be a poll that comes out every Monday. Um, last week, uh, Jake's, Jake's army got voted and it was the Votan. Um, so that's how that matchup was decided. We picked out because it was a preview week. So we decided to have that matchup. But yeah, you get to do that every week. We have our members lounge, which is with myself and Jake, um, where we get to sit down with you guys for an hour and just basically talk to you and just see how everything's going, answer your questions. Um, and, and this week's one's a bit, bit, bit later than normal. A bit later as well, yeah. So normally we do them at 4.30. Now, BST, British summertime, I guess. Yep. Thank yeah, you, Michael. Nod yep. of approval for knowing my time. <laughs> um, but this week, it's going to... Normally it's at 4.30, but this week's going to be at 7 because of a very special reason, like we've already said. Yep. Um, so for people that are in sort of tuning in now, if you get your membership in now, you can check back in two days' time at this very time mm-hmm. and we'll be answering all your questions and also general chatting. I think... Um, uh, me, me and Aaron have discussed this week mm. regarding one of the themes of the week is going to be my GT I went to. Nice. Um, which so normally we do tournament reviews, but instead we're going to have this one on the members lounge. So even more reason, if you are interested to see what I get for two in my spare time, not like that, <laughs> then you can find out via that and see um, how I did. We also are going to be doing a Space Marine um, detachment tier list. We are. Um, yes. So we've, something new we've been doing is tier lists on the member, cha- member side of the channel. So... Yeah, we'll be doing like a tier list with you guys, looking at where we think they would rank with each other, yeah. things like that. There's so much that we're doing now with the members' side of the channel. Like, we've definitely taken it to the next step, and Discord is really active now. We've got an amazing community, which LPP is really active in. 
um, and obviously keeps that going for us. So yeah, there's so much. And obviously we've got Pimp My List, we've got all the other content that comes out. So there's so much that you can get for being a member of Vanguard Tactics. Um, so what are you waiting for? Yeah, what are you waiting for? Like, <laughs> like honestly. I'll tell you what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting to rapid ingress. Yeah, so you do your rapid ingress. <laughs> so, um, while you're doing your rapid ingress, I'm going to talk through my moving phase. Yeah. So, um, Oh. Whilst you do that, I'm yeah. just going to change uh, dice cams. Okay. Settings. So, so Magnus has gone for plus two move. Oh, Sebi's coming over. Okay. So Magnus, Magnus has gone for plus two move. And the reason is, is because he wanted to do a few tricks. So first one was Rhino getting into this quarter to do um, investigate signals. Very nice. I've done investigate signals on this side of this Rhino. And then from to see the reserve, I've done invest not only investigate signals with the other unit rubrics, I've also managed to get my sneaky, sneaky... Sorry, I've done this a bit wrong. Um, What's the tape there he is. Sneaky, sneaky, exalted sorcerer. Um, so he can not only mine half the move advanced charge of the Death Company, he can also do my Homer. So I'm going to get six points on Investigate Signals and five points on Homers. Wow, okay. Um, I've moved Araman's unit out, and I've done this in such a way so the Redeemer can't overwatch me. And for complete clarity, I'm going to be double moving that unit pretty much at the start of my, movement, at the start of my shooting phase, depending on what George does with the Sand Guard. Um, and then I could use my free ritual to put um, the Land Raider for no armor save. So awesome. I'm going to try and take out a few of those big Overwatch threats. And I think once I've done that, the game becomes slightly better. <laughs> okay, yeah, fantastic. Um, I mean... Oh, and I got the rubrics out so I can do some damage to some Death Company. Okay, fantastic. All right, so we're seeing the Sanguinary Guard uh, rapid ingress here into that building. Uh, it will be difficult for Jake to get line of sight on that, especially if he's going to do what he's wanting to do with the, the Araman squad. I guess there's potential for a Psyker squad to double move and get line of sight for some indirect. We'll I see what Jake's priorities are. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have enough cabal. Oh, no, it's a stratagem to do the other one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I could do. I'm sort of... It's a weird one, because I also really want that Land Raider dead. <laughs> well, this is, this is why I've done it. Look, I kind of accepted something's going to die, mm. but... It's all about threat saturation. Yeah. So I was looking to do it in here, but I think it's just going to be a bit too yeah. tight. I, um, I actually think arguably, I don't know. Like I can, I think, like killing the scouts out of this unit here, so then it denies your primary for another five would be really good for me. Uh, and then I could see. I sort of just want to see what the Sangard do in a way. <laughs> play it how you would play yeah. it, mate. Like just I go, don't, hit me I, as hard as you can. I think. <laughs> No violence, oh. please, on the stream. I think the best <laughs> thing to do right yep. now is I'm just going to do all the things I know that won't change. Okay. So, oh, so start the shooting phase, I've got to double move. So let's do that. So if I double move six, I can see them, which means I can indirect those. But then I can't turn their armor save off. So this mm -hmm. is the big one. And you're going to just armor with contempt. Yep. So because of this, like... For free as well. For free. So you're going to be on <laughs> two up save. So I'm relying on dev wounds, mm -hmm. which I actually don't really rate. Instead, I'd rather go for the thing that I know will definitely be good. And I'm going to double move Araman's unit. So they're going to get to go another eight. So two here. I'll put one on here just in case, I don't know, for any reason, OCs or anything. Go I'm only OC one. I'm a scout, mate. It's all right. So I'm OC two. It's more just so then, like, if I didn't want to target the scout, I don't have to. Yeah, sure. Um, and then the unit... Should all be within 12 of the Land Raider. If it's not such a really here. powerful move, though, isn't it? Because yeah. you've stopped me from overwatching here. Um, because yeah. it, I can't... It's not in the shooting phase, is it? Well, no, no, it's in. It's the start of shooting phase. So you can't overwatch this. Right, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use Araman's free ritual to turn off the armor save on the Land Raider. Yeah. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's do it. So, again, other thing that's done at the start of shooting phase, I'm going to use my Exalted Sorcerer's ability. Oh, sorry, this is done at the end of the movement phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick the Death Company on two up. Yep, so they're half move, half advance, half charge. Cool. Cool. Now let's do some shooting. So I'll do Araman's unit first. So I'll put the Flamestorm pistol and one guy into the scouts. Mm -hmm. And everybody else, including Araman, will go into the land range. Cool. So that is going to be 8d6 flamers. So I'll do them first. So you don't get an armor save on your land raider. And I'm going to be winning on sixes normally. Aaron makes it fives and I get reroll ones because that's their rule. Because you're not on an objective. Yeah. Ouch. Wowzers. That's a 20, lot of fire. 9, 35. 35. Just to confirm, are you both on 6 EP for the Blood Angels, 4 for the... I'm on 5 because they're rapid ingress. 5 because they're rapid ingress, thank and you. And I am on whatever you just said. 4? Yep. Cool. 
Cool. So this is going to be, this is 20. Mm -hmm. So fives, because plus one to wound. Oof. So this is what's really nice about this, is it basically just means my whole army has dev, which is great. This so is such a powerful 10. ability. 10. So that's 11 wounds so far to the land raider. I've still got another 10 to do. Ouch. Wow. Straight through the two up save. So another three. So that's... I've got two left. I can be more ones. Oh, he's dead. Oh, so I just killed him. Wow. So Magnus doesn't even have to shoot now. Does wow. He blow up? Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, this is, so this is where, like, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't do the other thing. If I didn't do the thing. Um, cool. Didn't think that would happen, not going to lie. Um, Brutal. Yeah. Oh, and I've still got two into the scouts. So this is the one that's going to wound them on freeze. This mm -hmm. is the wound that's going to... I'm just going to roll them separately. So one that's going to wound them on freeze. Two shots. Uh, two at minus one. Ignores two at minus one. Ignores cover. I oh, yeah, so. the flamers, aren't they? Yeah, I will double check. You roll it. Uh, the, the, I've got a double one, mate. Okay. Ham damage one? Yep. And then just for future reference... Take the sergeant. Oh. And then just for future reference, they... Do it nose cover. Yep. And then the pistol. This will be wounding on fours because of the... Um, I can't remember. Do I know five or... I think it's for four. Um, fours will be well I have no idea, mate. Didn't see. That's right. <laughs> so cool. three more, minus one, it goes cover. Uh, cool. So one goes through. Cool. Nice. Um, then we're going to do the dude... So both the wizard and the unit are doing investigate signals and homers respectively. So none cool. of them get to shoot. I will armor contempt knees yeah. against her. Right. So let's start with... Baller Baron. So he. Infernal Master. So I'm going to do the one that's got plus one strength, plus one damage first. Mm -hmm. So 2d6, and I'm going to spend one CP so he can re roll hit, So the unit can re roll its hits and wings for psychic. Okay. So what's psychic in these units? Just um, the... the weapon I'm about to shoot and his like warp flame. Cool. cool. So this is going to be wounding you on freeze. Yep. Re rolling everything. Cool. Six is a dev. I'm going to pick it all up. So three lots of dev, and two at minus two normally, so this can be minus one. Cool, so four ups, save them. And then this is D3 damage each, but minus one. Okay. Oh no, sorry, this is two damage each flat, but minus one because of your ability. So cool. this is so all just one damage. One damage each, so I just roll them all, six up, fill no paints. Cool, so two go through, you kill one guy. Nice. Then I'll do the other psychic weapons so I don't get confused. Um, so freeze. We roll in hits and wings. On it. Um, <laughs> Get the hell out <laughs> uh, Anti infantry <laughs> four up yeah. with a re roll. No. Cool. Cool. And then the flamers, so I've got 3d6 flamers in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next challenger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the, that was the land raider. Um, so this is going to be wounding you on fours with only re roll ones. Cool. Sixes are going to count as an extra AP. Okay. So three at actually minus one. Yep. And then ten normal saves, no AP because of armor contempt. So ten three ups. Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, good roll. It's the shadow boxing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. um, and then these are dev wounds, right? The, no, no, these are just actually. Oh, minus so these one. are four ups. Yeah. Because I can cool. save them ones. Because that's because I have an icon, a warp flame icon in there. Right, and then six up filling a paint here. Yeah. Cool. So one, uh, one dies on one and a half. Yep. And you, then I've you burnt a leg. And then <laughs> do you try. Um, <laughs> then I've got Soul Reaper cannon. Yep. So freeze. <laughs> uh, one wound. This is going to be no minus. Oh no, at no no minus. Don't worry. Sorry. I'm going to be damage. Just one. Takes it. So you kill the guy with half. Hazardous in the unit. He's fine. Next unit's going to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. The difference is well, actually there is no difference. All right, I'm not going to be rerolling hits and wings. Cool. So, you like your, your flamers here, mate, don't you? <laughs> I do like... Uh, who needs to roll the hit in 40k? Right. Um, freeze, re-rolling ones. Uh, and this is dev as well. Um, is this all one damage? So, two lots at that. So, to Five confirm, at... this is not a flamer. It's a psychic attack. That's yeah, why sorry. it's dev, guys. Just in case anyone's confused. Five at minus one, be after armor contempt. After armor contempt. Yeah. Cool. So, three go through. Okay, so, five two. feel no pains total. Cool, two dice. Cool. And one's on a wound still or something? No, oh, no. you oh, killed the guy in the wound from last. Um, does he hurt himself? No, he doesn't. Um, psychic, actual psychic attack. Two hits. Fours. Uh, these are just anti infantry with dev, so two feel no pains. Cool. Cool. One more. Just making sure they actually are one damage each. They are. Very good. Um, flamers. 
I've got the other units warp flame pistol, so I'll just throw. You can do, yeah, do no, it. No, after, no, do no. I'll just so I'll do this unit's warp flame pistol, but I'll just throw the other one in. Okay, after, sure. Yeah, yeah, sense. that's fine, mate. Yeah. Fours, re-rolling ones. So two are actually AP one, four are AP nothing. So four three ups. Okay, okay. and then, and then two, two AP, AP one. one. Save them. So cool. So then pens, two thermal pains. pains. Yeah. Cool. So one takes a wound. Oh. Warp flame pistol six shots. Uh, re-rolling ones. <laughs> uh, okay. Three actually minus one, one at minus nothing. So minus nothing, saves it. Yeah. Uh, failed all of them. <laughs> failed all of them. Oh my. Uh, and then I've got the Soul Reaper cannon. Uh, uh, this is three re-rolling ones. Three devs. And just three devs. I think that's dev, yeah. Okay, failed them all, so... One more. Right. One down to a wound. Weird. <laughs> weird, weird, weird. Um, <laughs> that is everything. Did not expect to just like <laughs> murder that unit, but life. Um, it, the thing is, <laughs> right, is because of how much like torrent there is. Well, that's the it, other thing as well. And now like there's a weird like fear of God in you because it's the like, Martins is going to have to just try and hope he can run in. He can kill five Rubik's on his Oh, own. yeah. He's, he's gangster. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Whatever you say, gangster. So, um, end of my turn, six on investigate signals, five on deploy teleporters. And just to triple check, Magnus can't do anything. Well, we didn't do anything wrong in the first place, Michael, so he can't <laughs> do anything now. Nice. Um, cool. So, that ends that. I'm going to go up to four CP. You're going to go up to five. Yep. Um, primary wise, you're going to get a fancy five. Fancy five, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, right, secondary, um, I've got area denial and behind enemy lines. Kill the rubric. <laughs> Kill the rubric. <laughs> so you're seeing a little bit of a points jump there for Thousand Suns. That's including their primary for that turn because they didn't add it on immediately. Oh, okay. Cool. Right, so if you want to go to top down, um, we'll go into my movement phase. Yeah, nice. And now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. And we're back. I mean, wow, that was just brutal. Losing the Land Raider right there. And then so Flamers, the yeah. Death and then the, the Death Company. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's So I think there's the potential here, in retrospect, we'll hear George's side of it as well. Yeah. To, to maybe have some more jump pack assault dudes on the table, okay. just to screen certain areas of the board. Um, it's potentially that bottom right corner. Um potentially stop the two units coming up there uh, that said those same rubrics could have just turned up further up the table past the di dice tray uh, and still shot yeah um so it's yeah it's it's a difficult one right because there's so many small units to trade and score victory points from the thousand sons army but the blood angels army doesn't quite have that ability there's not enough models uh, there's not enough units that can go and score things and now that jake's sort of taken momentum yeah. By destroying a lot of those assets that can score points or do damage, Jordan now is falling behind potentially on tactical cards because he doesn't have the assets to expend just to score points. There's also, of course, a bit of a primary difference. Um, we've only just jumped onto that left-hand objective with Dante's unit. Yeah. Um, and it would have been uh, amazing to s start there. And I think, actually, in this matchup, the infiltrators that are on the home objective probably start in the midfield on that left objective and we maybe have a jump pack squad just holding the home, uh, potentially. Uh, but it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Uh, and this is not a matchup you, you, you see a lot. Thousand Suns aren't that common yeah. uh, at the tournament setting either. Okay. Um, so this is a new experience, essentially, for Jord as well. So it'll be interesting to see what he pulls out this turn. Um, yeah, the big question is, the, the Sanguinary Guard, do they take the Overwatch? from the flame, warp flamers i mean from what i've seen or, so far no <laughs> or do they stand in the corner and charge out a line of sight yeah because he's going to get overwatch somewhere is the problem and there's a lot of cp floating around speaking of which i'm just going to update the cp and i believe they're on five each um and we're on top of uh bat round three right we are indeed yeah, yeah. um so we've got just to confirm at the table five cp each <laughs> Four for the th Thousand Sons. Okay. So what are your first thoughts on the Thousand Sons then, Sub? Brutal. <laughs> I mean, the shooting is just nuts. Um, 
I don't I haven't seen them get like hit a lot yet by anything from the Blood Angels. So uh, I'm kind of curious from this turn what we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, whether they're also quite durable or not, because I don't really know anything about this faction. They got a lot of tricks going on, uh, which yeah. is cool. Um, but it also, I mean, I haven't seen them very often, so it, you know, I'm assuming that we don't see them very often on the tabletop usually. Mm. Um, so one, interestingly, one of the perks of being on the academy, yeah, is you have access to our live lessons, and in one of those live lessons, uh, it's called Enemy Sighted. We actually go through. Um, specific armies and how to face them and what you can expect. Okay. We do have one on Thousand Sons. We've got Thousand Sons coach Paul Bridge, um, who's jumped onto that one as well to really explain the position of Thousand Sons and how they play on the tabletop. And I think one of the most important things about Thousand Sons is understanding just quite what they can do. You need to know kind of all of the tricks. Uh, one of those major tricks is obviously turning off a save and the double move. And the double move has so many implications in the game for objective cards and damage uh, and, and so on. Um, so yeah, you know, if you're interested in that kind of thing, check out the Academy, the waiting list uh, and so on. Mm. Uh, we've got a question from Jason here. Do you think there's a change that needs to happen to Overwatch? If so, what would that be? Oh, good question. Um, yeah, I mean, Overwatch is a tough one. I'd love to see it go to 2CP. Yeah. Because... If Overwatch was two command points, that means you'd have to not use your CP in your turn and you'd have to save it in order just to Overwatch. And two CPs is a lot of commitment for an Overwatch. I agree. Making it more of a difficult choice would be like exactly. having some more weight to it. Yeah. Because now in the game of 40k, you can just, in your turn, you get, sorry, in your opponent's turn, you get a command point, you just Overwatch. Um, there's not really any sort of forethought and it's free damage essentially. <laughs> Um, so if you don't have things to spend your command points on, I mean, we've not seen a lot of expenditure here, then Overwatch is, a you know, an easy choice. Yeah. I mean, do you think we'll just see Overwatch every turn for the uh, Thousand Suns? I don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, the Flamers are the most competitive choice. They cost the same as the Bolters, which, let's be honest, is a little bit silly. Um, yeah. So why wouldn't you just spam them? And Torrent is so good with Overwatch. For one CP, if you can kill an enemy unit in your opponent's turn, why not? Free damage. Yeah, it's almost like a, f- a free action then at, at this point. Chat, what do you think? I'm already seeing some people put in their opinions, but I'm curious what you all um, would do. It looks like they're done at the table, so let's head over. We're done. And, and, go ahead. I'm get- and you've conceded. Well, maybe not. Um, so, but I have overwatched. Um, now, to be clear, because again, we don't want to interrupt the flow of the guys at the desk. Magnus declared the Overwatch when this unit came down, which then meant George was free to do that. Now, a very clear thing I asked George, which I would definitely recommend doing at events, especially in a situation like this, is I specifically asked him if he's now in his reserve step. The reason being is because by me overwatching this unit, it means because he started doing reserves, technically that's the end of his movement phase. Mm-hmm. So by me overwatching here, it then means the Sang Guard essentially have agreed to not move. Yeah. Whereas sometimes I've seen at events where someone goes, oh, I'll bring this on or overwatch. He goes, okay, well, now I'll move this unit. Which is technically not right. Yes. I so, not even technically. It's well, no, it's just, right. it's, it's just literally, cheating. It's literally cheating. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So Magnus will go in. The only thing he doesn't have is sustain, but he does have dev. So big gun, a.k.a. the gaze of Magnus. The one that one shot at the bar bread. Uh, yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> um, six is to hit. Uh, no hits and no rerolls. Cool. And then the other one is D6 plus three, but with blast. So uh, D6 plus. So eight, nine. Nine. How are you finding the new dice? They're very nice. Ergonomically correct. I like, so, <laughs> so this isn't a main about them. I like square dice and these have little curves. <laughs> but that's brilliant because Baron of Dice does all of them. I've so got square dice. Make sure to check them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to come get a square dice. <laughs> um, so six is to hit, one to hit. Um, strength five with plus one to wound. So twos. Uh, one at minus something. If you roll it, I'll see. I believe it's at minus one. I don't think a one He's passes. One, it's two damage, so one Let's Magnus. Oh. This guy away. Right. That's it. Right. Now for the fun phase. Um, Barbred, Barbara. Barbara's going to shoot at the... Um, Ab. Bab. <laughs> He's going to shoot into the Rupert Marines, that's the guys, in that unit. 
That's what Billy's doing behind his Billy's Barbara. behind his go. Barbara! 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 <laughs> She's knocking like, on a yeah. window. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like you're we've been married for like fifty years and I'm trying to call you over to tell you I want like a caramel Barbara. tea or something. <laughs> Barbara! Oh <laughs> caramel tea, Barbara! <laughs> Whoa, t- Seb's drinking chamomile. Yeah. I'm cool Old people and Seb can drink the same drink. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not gatekeeping. So, the big flame storm cannon into the rubrics, yeah. the heavy flame was into these rubrics, yeah. and a hunter killing missile into your lone yeah. wizard dude. It's like, just because I like a bar- bath bomb doesn't mean I'm like an Instagram influencer what or something. What type of bath bomb? What about your storm bolt? Oh, storm bolt will Buffed go into the rubrics as well. Cool. Right, hunter. Hit. Killer. <laughs> two. Killer. Uh, two. Two. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four up in the Oh. I'm okay. Oh, that's a, that's a big six. Um, well, well it is, it is arguably that. not a large six, but you know what is a big six on those dice? True. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy flamers. That's nine shots. And who are these going into? The, the Rubik's Rubik's yeah. And you're saving the big cannon for the unit. Yes. Yeah. Like me. Uh, cool. So that's eight wounds, mate. <laughs> this is just the game of like the reason this game is just going so quick because none of us need to roll a hit. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. What is it? Minus minus one. Uh, so four plus. Uh, so Ooh. one dies, two dies, three dies. One's on eight wounds. So Ooh. what I'll do is I'll keep the aspiring sorcerer. It's important to note the storm bottle would still get the extra shots yes. rapid fire because it's all done uh, at the same time, right? Yeah. So hit on threes. And then it's strength five now because you were within 12. I was within 12. So, so threes. Three, three, two. two wounds. Three ups. Uh, one. So two. I've just got the the aspiring sorcerer out of the unit there. Nice. Um, He's aspiring to now, the sorcerer. Now the flamestorm cannon goes off. It gives me eight shots. It goes off. It goes it's off. It's not like it doesn't it <laughs> hit. Jordan, it goes anyway. off. <laughs> it goes Reading on. you on threes. Yeah. Okay. Didn't. Uh, what's about the that? AP so, on this? AP two. Okay. Damage so. two. Six of them. AP two. Damage two. Okay. We're gonna roll five. Mm-hmm. Uh, AP two. AP two. So three die. So I'm, I'm gonna roll the next one. So I'm okay. So three die. I'll take the Soul Reaper cannon and two basic guys. Cool. And the reason I wanted to do that is because I do have the ability to blank a damage for a yep. strat. So I just want to slow roll it to see because I have to do it before the save. Yep. Sure thing. Right. And then we've got the scouts over here. Oh god. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> do you know what? I'm just gonna shoot a missile launcher at Magnus. Okay, yeah. With my Def Company guy, he's going, oh, right, I'm hitting you on four. If you're what? Are you missed. If you're what? Def Company guy, have you not seen him? No. You see, he's holding his forehead like, ah. Oh, oh, it's because he just missed. I oh. thought that was me when you talk about Blood Angels. Oh, <laughs> no, that's yeah. Jake. He's now called Jake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, my scout. <laughs> scout Sergeant Jake. Uh, sorry, the Sergeant is dead. Oh. Uh, because he's the, yeah, he's the most <laughs> That tastes like promotion. <laughs> 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 um. Charges? I don't know, is it? Yeah. <laughs> same, same, same. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> um, so, Lamartis and the single guy. Go ahead, oh, poor man. <laughs> it's oh. all right, buddy. Me too. <laughs> me too. Uh, you have half my charge, though, haven't you? I have half your charge. So, nine. <laughs> so brutal. Yeah. yeah. So, you, it'll be a five. So you're in. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, because a five. So, it can't oh, yeah, and I'm within in. six. Yeah. yeah. Well you're, well, you're just in. <laughs> you're just <laughs> in. <laughs> I don't know how cool. else to describe it. Right, Sanguinary Guard. Yeah. Eight? Uh, yeah, I assume so. Just a... Yeah? Yeah. I just guess he's it. Yeah? yeah. Is he yeah. in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm OC2 as well. Oh, that's nice. Because you got a banner or Yeah, because I've got a so banner. You know, you Blood Angels. I used to play Blood Angels. You know what? This, this little camera... I did play it's Blood Angels. It was Blood Angels. <laughs> right. Don't give me lip, Jay, Billy. I'm <laughs> going to pass you the Sangar. Can you just put yeah. them in base? They can yeah, all sure. get within, basically. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you, mate. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> you didn't say base of what? Wait, wait. Oh, now he's chirped. <laughs> That's right. Me and my friend over here. Oh, one of his... Oh, no, it's magnetised. Steve has apparently magnetised just one sanguinary guard. <laughs> so, That's because he glued the rest <laughs> He probably um, went, oh, that's a lot of effort. I'm not towel. How many's in there? There's four more here, mate. Oh, right. I was like, <laughs> oh, why am I scared of them? <laughs> um, right, the other charge I've got is these five assault intercessors into that rhino. Yeah, just need a nine. That's, uh, that's a ten. ten. Nice. How many can get within base contact? Uh, oh. Probably three, right? Or uh, two? Yeah, three. I'll yeah. actually say all of them, to be honest. There okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, cool, take oh, four oh, more. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, I meant two, I meant two. <laughs> how many, how many um, 
10 total on the rhino. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Michael. He already knew what I was going to ask him. The other unit into the other rhino. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, so that's really? another 10 inch I'm just afraid of my own streams. Jump so packs guys, are doing it. Go for the 9 inch charges. So they can, they can all make base because the back one can get here. Sweet. So let's roll five means... dice. Five mortal wounds. Uh, oh. Three. Three mortal wounds. Oh, good. You gave me change. <laughs> um, there we go. Sweet. Um, combat? Yeah. We'll start with the Martys. So this guy over here. Gonna pile him. So Lamarty's first. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Rerolls hits. That was a hit, but knocked it. Right, um uh, strength six. They freeze. Threes. And what AP is this? These are AP two. So okay. three at AP two. So I'll just roll them all. Uh two dying? Yep. Two two, yeah, so I'll two. take Soul Reaper Cannon and Man. And then Death Company. He's hit all the time. Yep. He's wounded once. I will blank the damage. Nice. There we go. Um, um, cool. I will now interrupt with TCP and fight here. Uh, what yeah. are you blanking the damage with, sorry? Uh, the stratagem. Okay, yeah. cool. So you're spending so CP I'm, I'm, to blank I'm now going to have no CP because I'm also going to interrupt on the sand guard. And the reason is because I'm okay. not as well because I can reroll wounds because on the yes, objective. because you're on four, but it was an overwatch, a blanket damage. An overwatch, damage. a blanket damage, and an um, interrupt. Sorry, five. So, yeah. so what's your AP here? With Oh, it's AP nothing. But oh, so I don't need armor attack. I can reroll wounds. <laughs> That's, like That's the fine. Main thing. So let's, oh, I'm AP one on Araman's stuff. Mm -hmm. Would That's you? That, absolutely not. He's flat free. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay. Are you on five CP, Oh, George? do you know what? I'll do it for free, because yeah, then you... I can do my plus one to wound for one CP. Yeah. Are you on uh, five CP? I've got five CP. Down so... to four now. Uh, for, uh, I'm going to do oh, it for free. for free. Right, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted the five CP for a little bit longer, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's me when I play Vatan. I just want it for a bit longer. So, uh, a good two. option for you, George, yeah, is actually six. to armor contempt for a CP... Seven. And then you can use plus one to wound from Crucial Battle for free when you fight with Dante's unit, in addition to using it on an Dante's assault. Dante's not in combat. Sorry, the yeah. captain's unit, in addition to using it on a different assault intercessor squad. Uh -huh. so you, could do it, you could do it yeah. in two places. Let's do it that way. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it the Michael way. <laughs> Michael way is normally right. All right, freeze. The Michael way. Um, oh, fours. Fours. Because Sangard minus one to hit in combat and minus one to wound. Like, mm, they come in with handy. And I don't know if Araman gives me plus one to wound in combat as well. I think it is So it's important to note that the Sand Guard give you minus one to wound when no. the Warlord is leading the unit. Now, Dante, he may be the Warlord in my heart, but he's not the Warlord in this list. Got the Warlord Just so I can get the, the abilities here with um, the um, Sangre Guard. I've got plus one to wound. Okay, cool. Um, so this is just going to be fours. Is it minus one to wound no matter what? Yeah. Okay. Well, in combat, not in shooting. Oh, just okay. in combat. Yeah, but even if my strength's lower or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's just okay, minus cool. one to wound. So one at AP one, which will be AP nothing, and four at eight. So just four two ups. Four two ups. Yeah. I've passed them all. Cool. Araman. He hits them all. Gold. Now, key thing here, he's going to be freeze to wound with plus one, minus one, and he has got psychic, so this is dev wound, so I'm just okay, going to fish cool. with sixes. Nothing. One dev wound, yep. and three at minus one, so minus nothing. So, three two ups. Uh, cool so damage. Two, uh, they're flat three each, so two will die. And then the ah. leader, the aspiring sorcerer. Oh, no, three attacks. The uh, <laughs> I'll get you. There we go. Could you just take the two far ones for me, please? Please do. Yeah. that far side. The far side. There you go. Ugh. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right, now show me what this unit does. <laughs> I don't know. The right. least time of right. the hype in the Two, mind. three, Look at me. four, mean, five. Five. Or something. <laughs> just to Six. confirm, we're doing it slightly out of order, but an assault jump pack unit would go first, right? To use Crucible of Battle. For Let's, plus do one Let's do that now. Let's do that now so we're doing it properly. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. So um, we're gonna fight here. You know, one CP. Use that. Plus strap. one to wound. I'm gonna do it over there because that one's got less wound, uh, more wounds. Okay. Yeah. So let's do it over there. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Chain swords. Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes. And then I am wounding on on um, five style. Uh, well, what's strength four. On toughness nine. Nine. So yeah. So, so five. Uh, cool. Five wounds. Cool. <laughs> AP one. It's actually. Uh, one failed. I actually sort of want to die with that because I don't think I can actually get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then power fist. Yeah. Hits twice. No, oh, go on. Do those weeds. Uh, it wounds. It's wound on fours. Four. Uh, two. two. AP two. Yeah. Uh, they failed. Four so damage I'm on two total. wounds left. Cool. Um, do you want to hit me with that rhino? Oh no! no I just. I, I'll do that unit as well. well I'd love to, but I'm not. Uh, who's your oath target, by the way? 
I have O for moment, don't I? <laughs> obviously, it's going to be. <laughs> so it's obviously the big win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Cool. I, we've got so right, much torrent on much. the board that it's actually yeah. a Def Company <laughs> don't need reroll hits. So right. it's like. Well, Def Company have it anyway. It. Yeah. And their machine doesn't need right. Uh, this is the other Assault Intercessor yeah. squad here. Cool. Cool. Good. Good Not hitting, lads. Very that. cool. And then this is sixes, right? Sixes. You don't have to Cool. Ah, oh. sorry for wasting time, dude. Oh. Okay. Uh, Power oh. Fist. He could just solo it. No, he can't. No, <laughs> he can't. No. No. Literally no. took the worst right <laughs> out of my mouth. Um, cool. Now the unit we've all been waiting for. I've been waiting for. Um, you? Yeah. Three, four. They're all against me. Five. Right, this is the Sand Guard with the Incarmine Blades. Okay. And then I've got two Power Fists. So what's an Incarmine Blade? So these are Strength 5, yeah. AP 2, Damage 2, four attacks each. Okay. Can you not just give them all power fists? No, you can only give two a power fist in the squad. Oh, they did change. For 350 it. points, Jake, that's what you what get. What did they hit on? I hit on threes. They don't hit on twos. Only when Dante's leading them. A bit rough, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, they're suffering really. from their sins from ninth, uh, basically. And this is twos um, anyway. Uh, strength oh, no, you're five. strength five, sorry. And with plus one wings, so you have B twos. Yeah. Wowzers. That's a lot of ones. Cool, so... How many? Five, ten... 15, 16. Oh, I had 16 dice there. Oh, it's as if you knew it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mystic Jake, he's made a return. <laughs> um, so I've got to roll 10 at a time because Araman's got a different save. So five up. Ooh. So oh, that two, a lot better. two alive. Mm. Two at a time. They're dead. Harryman, he's dead. Cool. Wipe the unit. Good job, Jordan. Ooh, clean sweep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My dusty boys! <laughs> they are now dust. All is dust, eh? Ric Flair is somewhere um, just wooing. Obviously, we'll just move them closer to the objective. Yeah. Um, may as well. Yeah. Yeah, just do whatever's easiest, mate. Uh, cool, I think that's all my attacks, so it's just up to you to slap me back. Oh no! Man! Man's fine. Man's fine. <laughs> Right. Sang man. Not man. He's a sang man. <laughs> uh, right, so the two here. So you, you're not on the objectives, so I won't get reroll wings. Cool. So this is if I Fistos. Uh, two. These are fours. Rerolling ones. So one at minus nothing. He is on one wound. I know. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, Sally boxing! <laughs> 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 ah, let's go! <laughs> oh. God, that's such a good meme. Right, when... <laughs> good meme, eh? <laughs> no, I meant a meme. Oh, meme. It's a great meme. Whoever did that, I wish Steve would offer you, you a meme? free course. Um, right, so force weapon. All hit. Didn't really want that. Oh, I want that now. Um, freeze, three rolling ones. So two at minus one on Lebartos. Four plus. One. So D3 minus one, so two damage. Cool, two damage, six up on the pain. He takes it. Then Infernal Master. Four. Now he can turn a dice to a six. Mm -hmm. So, uh, freeze. Turn that to a six. So, two devs. Damage. Uh, so, one at minus one first, and I'll roll all the damage. Okay, cool. Just so it is. Uh, just takes it, sir. Cool. So, this is going to all be 3d3 minus one each. Oh. So, two damage, one damage, one damage. So, four damage. I just need three sixes. Okay, that's, that's the opposite of that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Die! Wee! <laughs> awesome. Cool. Um, so that's it. So end of your turn, Jord. What are you going to get? Uh, I will get five for area denial. You will. Um, and I will also get five, five. for behind enemy oh. lines. I do get to hit you with my rhinos. Let's yes. see those off camera. Yeah, 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 sure. That's not embarrassing. I will just get ten on my secondary, so that's um, Nice one. Very um, nice. So start of my turn, I'm going to get another ten. Um, I'm going to go up a CP. Mm -hmm. um, Kapal points wise, I'll be on two, four... Six, ten cabal points, which is really important. Do um, the does do they get it if they're battle shot? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So he, there. Let me do his. He's, he's fine. So I'm actually going to have twelve, thirteen cabal points. Mm -hmm. Okay, quite a lot. I'll find the dice. <laughs> um, <laughs> then cards wise, capture any outpost. And extend battle lines. It's going to be a sad day, boys. We're going to have finally a card I have to discuss. <laughs> um, no. I know what you're thinking, crying shame. <laughs> um, awesome. So if we go to the top down, mute us and we'll play the game. Play the game. 
We're grateful to have Frontline Gaming as our sponsor. They're a truly one-stop shop for all your gaming needs, from terrain in mats to an extensive range of miniatures in the United States. Plus, their community-focused events are known to foster what we call the Warhammer 40k spirit. So if you want to start playing an event and you're truly passionate about the game, then make sure you attend one of the next Frontline Gaming events. That was cool. It was nice to see the Sangard fix some stuff up. Yes, um, yeah, they're brutal when they get in. Um, absolutely brutal. Um, but as Jordan has been setting, very expensive. Yeah, um, whether they're worth and the points. Whether the they've, yeah, sort of done their duty now. Uh, we'll see what Magnus has to say about it. <laughs> I suspect it's not much good. Um, Probably yeah. like, Avada, Kedavra, you're dead now. I don't know. Yes, something like that. I mean, that's what Magnus sounds like. <laughs> um, a distant we've <laughs> Voldemort <laughs> is heard. Making the two charges. Yeah. Making the two... Ch oh, I've it, had a question oh, asked. What's going on? I have a rules question. Michael. Yes. Great one. <laughs> old long-haired one that arguably was really absent on the weekend for no particular reason. Um, if I fall this back through his models mm -hmm. and I die... Mm -hmm. Where do I die? Like, for um, deadly or not deadly demise. Where you are, I believe. Yeah, so then because of that, would it mean I have to then do the six? The emergency gap? disembark, okay. yes. I'm going to do it. Okay, I'll just do it on camera. <laughs> so I'm going to try and fall out. I don't die. Okay. Are you battle shocked? I am battle shocked. No. Yeah, yeah I am. Yeah, battle you are battle On a three, then you will. Oh, okay. So I die. I'm fine with dying. I just want to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. So then, guys inside, and this is ones, twos, and threes. Uh, it is in uh, uh, ones and twos. I'll quickly check for you. Okay. But you roll the dice and put aside any one unit. threes. So one three from one unit, <laughs> or four from another. Yeah. So uh, if not, it'll be none. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Chat, has this ever happened to you? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is quite a rare. <laughs> Quite, Quite a rare, rare thing this happened. Actually, has this happened to either of you ever? No, like, never. That's why the I signal mean. you was investigating was actually the flesh terrorist jumping down. Yeah. They were like, <gasps> "Oh, something's!" <laughs> I heard, I heard no! Something. Oh! <laughs> no, please! No, please! No, stop hitting me! <laughs> Get off me! Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually struggling to find this, you know. Um, Maybe because it's never come up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Chat, help! <laughs> One CP, help! I might have it here. So, um, destroyed transports. Uh, each roll of a one is a mortal wound. Emergency disembarking is a one to three. Yeah, so yes. one out of one you, one dude in one unit takes a mortal, two die out of another, which will just result in... And do they then count as being battle shots because the vehicle's been blown up? Absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm fine with that bit. Not too fussed about that bit. Cool. And then just over here. I get all of them bar... Well, I get all of them, but one's on a wound. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to try and absolutely nuke this unit to death. Yeah, of course. Cool. Okay, go back to the top down now. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, that was interesting. So, I mean, what are we seeing from these, uh, oh, what are they called, Rubik Marines doing this then? I mean, because it looked like Jake kind of wanted to lose the rhino there either way he didn't really mind just as long as he could get out i suppose otherwise he'd be trapped in that corner right yeah actually um i uh, i have made a mistake jake on a three you're actually okay oh. um so weirdly the bat <laughs> that the battle shock being um so the desperate escape being a three for battle shot units is actually usually on data sheets but oh. in the core rules, there's nothing about it making it a worse roll. Oh, okay. So uh, as far as I can see, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, if okay. any of you guys have looked at this, right. let's in keep chat. going. And then if the chat say nothing, then I'll I'll put basically all the resolve in the rubrics but, being a bit further up the table yeah. and more of them alive. As far as I can tell from the core rules, a one or a two models destroyed. Nothing about battle shock affecting that. Um, it's just like you might see it in some units' rules or enhancements uh, um, and so on. What if it explodes? Um, well, then it explodes, Did you I guess. to see if it exploded? No, no. I, I think you're, you're probably going to have to put that rhino back on, okay. Jake. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So with that in mind, then, the rhino then can go to here. And then the guys would just get out here. Yeah, sure. So, and all the guys are back in the unit, mate. Uh, so you can't disembark? 
What if I it's get... It's a fallback move. Oh. You can only disembark from a normal move. Oh, so does that change up. what you're doing? Interesting. There? Well, no, because I don't want to die. <laughs> like, anyway. Uh, I was on two wounds there. No, yeah. It's, it's right. such a weird situation, yeah, isn't it? Like, you wouldn't right. really think, like... like it's this got... Is such this has an... got firing. Oh, no, I fell back. That's okay. Don't worry. Right. We'll put them all back. I don't want you to kill me in my turn. I'd rather kill you in... I'd rather you kill me in your turn. Mm -hmm. um, that is it, really. <laughs> cool. For me, for me. So I'll talk through what I've done. Um, Magnus has moved up. I've left my home field objective. All on its Todd. All on um, its Todd. Because I'm quite up on the primary. And the other thing as well is because where you can score at the end of the game in this mission, I have the opportunity to get back on my primary to get me back the points I've lost. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too fussed about getting maybe a five next turn because I'm yeah. hoping for maybe a 15 at the end of the game. Yeah. What I want to do is just try and do some damage. So I haven't moved anyone over there, so the battle predator can't overwatch. These guys I've just left um, because... They're not anything to me. Same yep. thing here to put the Rhino here. Cold. Got all the guys on there, so maybe some Overwatch threat. So now it's going to be the start of the shooting phase. Oh, sorry. End of the movement phase. Dude on disc. On the Battle Predator. On a two up. Will half its move, advance, and charge. It's a, yep. It does do cool. it. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard powers. Um, cool. And then start on my shooting phase. I'm going to spend nine Cabal points. Mm -hmm. Taking me down to four. So I'm going to remove the armor save off the Sanguinary Guard unit. Boo! Yeah. And I'm going to spend one CP. Let George roll saves. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it makes the game faster if we only roll wound rolls, right? <laughs> um, and then I'm going to pay one CP so Magnus can re-roll his hits and wounds. Mm -hmm. Boo! Um, <laughs> um, I did say I was going dev. Probably the wrong decision, but I'm going to stick to you it. You can change. No, 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 I said it. I okay. said it because I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to go into them with the ignoring saves or right. not. Sure, sure. Um, but I think ultimately looking at the rest of the board, that's probably the good thing to do. Yeah. So let's do it. So first off, Gaze of Magnus, 3d3. Um, six. Okay, six. So twos to hit, re-rolling. And then there's no point re-roll, like, just re-roll Is wounds. it sustained on the other one? Uh, no, it's dev on this one. Dev on this yeah. one is sustained on no, the no, other one. No, 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 it's, they're, all, they're all just dev. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Oh, sorry. Um, I thought you had every roll. <laughs> twos re-rolling and every single one cool, will kill cool, cool, a cool, cool. So that's six Sangar dead. That's uh, 300 points. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the time of shooting, they would have been above five. So this will be D6 plus four for 10. <laughs> wow. He looks like he's striking a Jojo pose. Two. He does. Mm -hmm. Is the mi so the minus one wings only in combat? Their abilities only work <laughs> in combat. Twos. <laughs> Rerolling. Oh my God. So that kills both the other Sanguine. What's the damage? It's two each. Yeah, they're dead. And then... <laughs> That's eight at my well, eight invulnerable saves on your captain. Oh, we get some invulnerable saves. You get invulnerable saves. saves yeah. No, it's oh. not completely broken. Oh, I thought it was you just got... No, it's not completely busted, mate. <laughs> How many, sorry? It's uh, eight. <laughs> Two damage each. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's, uh, he's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> right, cool. Unlimited! <laughs> um, no, I'm not going to do that. You uh, so any Listen here, Emperor Palpatine. All right, <laughs> listen, stop. <laughs> listen here, Wrinkle Man. Um, so I'll need a nine into the scales. Oh, will you now? Oh, I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I've got to stand, I have to stand it. You can stand no, 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 because I've done it and it's me being an idiot. Could you have done anything else that would have changed No, that? no, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. Because I wouldn't, I could have like done my wing out, but I wanted to charge if that went peak tong. Didn't think okay. it would go that well. Right. <laughs> um, so I'm sticking to my guns. Cool. All right. Then. Um, and then? All oh, right, so you other shooting. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> his arcane flames. Uh, so this guy's flame is actually 18 inches. Is it now? So D6 shots for four. Uh, toughness of the battle thread? Uh, 20. Jokes, jokes. Ten. Fives. <laughs> two, <laughs> two, at minus, two at minus two. Okay, damage? Uh, D3 each. So four damage. Four damage. Cool. So it puts me down to seven. Cool. And then his um, his other gun won't be in range, but the other guys will. So his other gun doesn't do anything. Flamer, one <laughs> just shot. Just away for you <laughs> um, And then let's just have a look at the Infernal Masters. Where are they? Dead, so he's dead, got dead, an 18 dead. inch Flamer as well. Is he? He is. So he will also shoot the battle predator. Hmm. No, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> no. 2d6. 
So this is the one with the better gun. So he's got basically the difference is he's two damage, this guy. Ooh. Um, so strength seven, so fives. Uh, one at minus two, and this is two damage. Does he hurt himself? No, he doesn't. Cool, down to five. Yeah. Uh, charging Magnus is a nine. You oh, can't do the nine no. like me. No. <laughs> do you want to CP it? Uh, I can't, I don't have any. Oh. Um, so that's it, so end of my I've turn. I've got six, do you want one? No, <laughs> <laughs> so end of my turn, I'm going to just discard capture any outpost because extend battle lines is inevitably going to happen because mm. I'm just going to move, like I've said, I'm going to do the whole thing about moving back onto this. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to just cap discard capture any outpost for CP, keep extend battle lines, so that will then give me that. So start your turn, George, you're going to get 10 primary. Oh, cheeky. Very, yeah, cheeky. I'll, get, I'll get 10. Um, and I'll go up to 2 CP. I will go, I've run out of space on my dice. Um, <laughs> I've run up to 7 CP. Um, cool, um, so um, cards. Yeah. Deploy, teleport, home, and secure no man's land. Well, you've already got both. You've already got both. Jake, deployed. I'm going to attack you, okay? I'm not standing still. <laughs> okay. Right, no. Oh, um, man of action. <laughs> cool, so yeah, if you meet us, go to the top down. We'll just discuss that. Sounds good. Um, <laughs> wow. There's Sangard. Uh, yeah, so it, last. it's a tough old matchup for them. Um, having a two up save, paying the, the price for it in points, and then having it stripped away and having no invulnerable save um, really does uh, really does hurt the Sanguinary Guard. So, not really the matchup for them, yeah. sadly. I'd love to see them back again when we next have Blood Angels uh, to do some real damage but, uh, to another unit. As we can see here, George's George shaking his head. No <laughs> Sangard anymore. <laughs> 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 at their time. Um, as we can see here, Dante is coming in for the epic duel. This is going to be sick. Um, kinda... Jake's over watching. <laughs> yeah. We've just been informed. This is not so sick. <laughs> it's not so cool. <laughs> He'll live through it. He's fine. Um, it's Commander Dante. He's been through so much. I think. Yeah, so we've actually got some good cards for the Blood Angels really here. Good. Um, and it'd be good to try and get some of them without obviously giving up on the awesome... Dante going in deal. The points are surprisingly close, but I suspect the last term will tell all. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Maybe there's the potential to advance the uh, scouts. Yeah, Did I don't know what? if the scouts can fit on two objectives or not, if they're big enough as a unit. Um, mm, I don't think yeah, so. No, yeah, it might be a difficult one. Or whether Barbara, the Bile Predator, can advance into the middle, potentially. Well, I've got that advance and shoot, right? So um, you can advance and shoot, yeah. It's not missing out on anything. We've got CB to spare if we want to re-roll anything. I think we just saw an advance there from George. The Predator re-rolls advances for free. Really? Which is, uh, yeah, fantastic. Why? It just does. It's got in incendium engines. Oh, a special or engine. Oh. Is that like a Blood Angel thing? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's a, I don't know, that's kind of a weird rule for a tank, I guess. I wasn't mm. expecting that. Nice. Um, uh, do you think we're going to see those units get picked up by that battle predator? Potentially. So, yeah, I mean, there's a play here to get secure no man's land, potentially. I don't know what the distances are, but the scouts could advance to the left objective and the infiltrators could advance to the middle because they all have assault anyway. So if they did want to do any shooting, it could be worth trying to get the extra points. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll see whether that's worth it or not. And obviously the assault jump into this is a run around after the rhinos. We've got homers quite easily for five points. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice. I'm just going to look through chat real quick. Uh, Andy Tech Dad is here. Hello. Just arrived. Magnus still alive. Turn four. Game to Thousand Suns. He, I mean, Magnus does I mean, seem like one of those slaps. VIPs in a game that you really he have to deal with. Absolutely slaps. Um, down with chaos, up with drinking blood. I don't yeah. know which of those I prefer. <laughs> that sounds like two um, very mm. close alternatives. Down with Chaos, up with Drinking Blood. Okay. Um, probably Blood Angels, right? They're probably nicer. But Deadly Demise says, even when a model is destroyed, so I reckon even if it's fallen back, it's a check. Yeah, yeah. if if the 8, tank cents. did get destroyed from the Desperate Breakout, it would have to roll for an explode for Deadly Demise. Yeah. Absolutely right. Um yeah, as it happened, actually a three does not destroy the tank. Um, and therefore it was able to move, but it can't do anything the rest of the turn. And because it's a, 
uh, a fallback move. You can't disembark from a fallback move from a transport. So actually a, a great way of dealing with transports yeah. is to tie them up in combat because that means that they're not going to be able to get out after moving and then shoot whatever they want and so on. And actually, that's the perfect place to pin a transport because it can't get out without doing a desperate breakout te- check. Yeah, which means they then risk their transport. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, interesting. So, and then we're seeing the infiltrators finally move up to take yep, that middle objective. Fantastic. So we're going for all the points here. Um, and he's going to try and contest bit both, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like. So we've got the scouts on one. We've got secure no man's land now and teleport homers. So we're going to inch back that score with yeah. our cards. Um, Otha, I'm going to assume, is on uh, Magnus. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan is ready to tell us a story. Go on, Jordan. You ready for a story? I am ready for a story. Well, I'm Wait! Wait! I've done my overwatch, and you're not doing that bit. This is the bit in the story where someone gets bored and goes to sleep. Oh, I say Magnus is going to overwatch on that AT. I already declared it on George, and we you didn't want me. interrupt. <laughs> Gazer Magnus. Oh, yes, he's, he's, he's gazing at me, lovingly. Uh, six. <laughs> he's one. just gazing at me. Uh, stop looking at me! <laughs> uh, yep, two at minus two. I don't care. Uh, oh, see? Money, you don't. <laughs> well, um, fair play. Uh, and then nine. Well, not nine. Eight. Oh, see. These will be twos to wound. No. No, <laughs> they will not. No. <laughs> he didn't care. Okay, <laughs> right. Ooh. Shoot him. Yeah. So, Barbara. But so, do you want to talk through the. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, let me tell you my story now because someone interrupted. Oh, right. Oh, Dante, oh. he's doing what he was born and bred to do. He's going out and he's killing Primarchs. I believe. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't get within the three-inch melter range unless I advance. If I advance, I'm not charging, so no. it's done. I'm not doing it. No. I'm just going to shoot you and just do D3 plus one, yeah. D6 damage. And off. I've got the minus one damage on him now, so hopefully this won't hurt as much. And I do have a CP to blanket damage. That's another key thing. Mm-hmm. And I have got four Cabal points wherever they are, there. and that will allow me to, if I would like to, um, re-roll a save yep. as well. So the other things to note is the Bile Predator did advance six. It does have an eight rerolls to advance. Um, so it's, got, it's already got over here. So a bit closer to these guys, even though you're trying your hardest to stop me moving. Um, we've also got the Flesh Terrors have moved up. I'm looking at Grenade in that Rhino and then hitting whatever's inside. Um, and what else have we moved? There, the other Assault Intercessors at the very back are going to deploy my Teleport Homers. And we managed to get the advances we needed to, with the scout, stringing onto this objective and the infiltrators getting these two. I've got three objectives now, which is going to score me 10 on my secondaries, which it's is massive. Very nice. Um, so let's start off with the grenade. Let's just see if we can pop this rhino. So I just need double four. Yeah. Grenade. Uh, he's, that's five. Change. That's five mortals. Right. So then, does it blow up? No. Guy's inside. First you hit, three die, and the one's on a wound. The wow. other one's fine. So... Cool. So the one that where three have died, or two have died, and one's on a wound, or whatever I just said. Uh, one, one dies, died, one's, one's on a wound. wound yeah. um, then we've got a Vile Predator, which I will load up, because Dante is the main attraction, so we'll do him after. What have we got in these units? There's an Infernal Master in both these units, isn't there, Yeah, one, so the one with that is, 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 looks like a Terminator is He's the, the extra Infernal, damage yeah. one. Yeah. And the one who's not is the one who can do a Cabal Ritual twice, which I haven't done once this game because there hasn't really cool. been an opportunity, to be honest. Sorry, something I was supposed to start your thing, I did Go sort of hint it. to it. Two CP, so I could, well, two Cabal points, so I can re-roll a damn, uh, save on him. Awesome. Nice. Um, now, we have got the Bile Predator. So, the Heavy Flamers will go into the one with the two guys in there. Yeah. And the big Bile Flamestorm Cannon will go in a bigger unit. Let's yeah. just try and whittle them down. Uh, the Storm Bolters will also go into the smaller Good unit. Shame. So, the two Heavy Flamers... Four shots, three on threes. That's th- uh, three wounds at minus one. And this is on the smaller unit. Smaller unit. Uh, so one takes a wound. Cool. Then we've got storm bolt shots. Uh, again, just on the normal. Uh, three hits. Yeah. This will be three on threes. Five, so three, two. Two. Uh, they fine. Love it. Right. Flamestorm cannon. That's eight shots. Threes to wound. Cool. That's six wounds at AP two, damage two. So six wounds, three at a time. Uh, they all die, and the Infernal Master is dead, I think. Probably has five wounds, right? I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he has four. Um, he does have four. Now, can he use his ability to flip a save? 
You feel can, like you can, yeah. So I will flip that to a six. So he will be on two wounds and Ian is dead. Sweet. Sorry. Um, I'm going to shoot the four infiltrators that are out as well. Yeah. And they're going to hit this guy. One, two wounds. So eight shots. Hitting on threes. Toughness four? Uh, yes. So on two witch unit. The infernal master. The infernal master. Oh, no. oh. Roll that in there. Cool. So that's three wounds. Uh, no yeah. AP. He's on one. Cool. No. <laughs> um, Frendo. Oh, no. Frendo. Oh. oh, did you remember he halved his stuff? Yes, okay, that's okay, why okay. he hasn't moved that fast. Okay, good. Otherwise, he would have moved 18. <laughs> yeah, he would have been like, right, there. <laughs> um, right, I've got the scouts. Okay. Um, I'm going to missile launcher into Magnus. Okay. Misses. But you are my over target. It's because you called it a I missile missed. launcher, not a rocket that's launcher. That's why he's face palming. Right. Yeah. Keeps missing. Dante. Because it's me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. uh, oh. But you could re roll it. You first. could re roll it and see if you okay, can get right, natural right. six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, D3. D3. Two. So, so, so now you could use the six on a wound or damage. I uh, go to spend a CP. Sadly, not. It's only for oh. hits and saves. So. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, that enhancement. So I'm going to spend a CP yeah. and I'm going to give myself plus one to wound. Okay, so. Are that's... you sure? You've only got five left Toughness after that. Five. Five, no. So you'll be winning on fours. Winning on fours. Yeah. Uh, cool, two. two. So roll one first, four up. Fine, um, I will roll this one. And I can re-roll the failed one with my Cabal yep. thing. I fail it. D6 damage. Uh, minus one. So. I'm gonna CP oh. re-roll the oh. damage. Oh. Oh. Uh, so three damage. Three damage. So yeah, I think he has like 16 wings to start with. Sweet. Or so then, there's so something. So then um, like I do have the um, plasma pistols in the Flesh Terror squad as well. They're gonna shoot 16. the damaged unit of Rubric Marines. Yeah. Um, I'll shoot the bolt pistols first because one's on a wound, right? Uh, yes, one. Yeah, in a smaller unit. Yeah. yeah so three shots, mm -hmm. two hits, two wounds. AP one. Uh, both fail. Oh, okay, right. right. <laughs> Plasma <laughs> pistol. I will overcharge uh, both of them. Yeah. There we go. Um, so they are hitting on threes. One hit. Wounds on twos. Doesn't wound. Cool. Uh, um, hazardous. Uh, I'm fine. Nice. Cool. Charges. So Dante. Uh, he's got <laughs> plus one to charge, but that's not going to make it, so I'm going to CP it. <laughs> Good stuff, we've all got uh, CP. <laughs> there okay. we go, he's got a nice. nine-inch charge there. Cool. So you, Wherever you want to place him, mate. You, because so Dante is he can gaze this way, so that's... Awesome. Yeah. I'll face you. Um, and then Epic assault fight. intercessors into the two rubric squads. Um, I've got a nine. I'm going to come around because I want to just place some stuff in. What are your predictions, Mike? Do you think we're going to see Dante maybe take down a Primarch? Uh, well, Magnus has got plus two move rather than minus one damage at the moment. He does have minus one. I he does have minus one damage. It, yeah. Okay. I changed right. it to start my go, yeah. So he does have minus one damage, which could right, be a I've problem, but one unit here. lethal hits with the Blood Angel squad there. Lethal so I have got guys. to pick one unit to hit with my ability. So I can only go with... I can't do all of the models, even mm -hmm. though I'm engaged with two units. So I'm going to pick the three that are in the engagement range of the unit that's damaged. Okay. Uh, two mortal wounds, please. Two mortal wounds. So sorry, which one's that? It's, it's the far this unit one. here, yeah. The far side. There we go. See? One's on. Cool. Cool. Um, and then battle shock on Magnus for me, please, mate. He's okay. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. And so start of the fight phase. Mm -hmm. Spend my last two cabal points so I can re-roll my say one save on Magnus. Cool. Right. Um, let's do the Dante fight first. So we've got five assault in, uh, Vanguard vets, sorry. Oh, his silly tusk is in the way so, of Dante's helmet. Hitting on twos. Yeah. And you can re-roll it all and they got lethal. Yeah, so I'm just going to pick everything up. Yeah, that makes sense. Da, 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 da. Oh, have you got plus one wound here? That's the other yes, thing you sorry, to yes. Yeah. That's my CP. The plus one wound. To, for one there. So cool. Down to two CP <laughs> after all of that. Right. Now I am winning you on fives. Uh, yeah, because of the plus one to win. Sweet. Um, you have got to make um, five, 12 minus two saves. 12. That's quite Six. a lot. Yeah, that's good. It's Three. good output so far. Four up. So that's five failed. So I'm mm -hmm. down to uh, one and minus four. So eight left. So eight remaining. Right, and now then... I think he's not re-roll save, still got my 
Reroll Sangro Priest. Thingy. Yep. Reroll everything for the lethals. See lethals. And then fives again. Ooh. Cool, that's three at minus two. Uh, two failed, so I'm down to six. Uh, yep, six, not five. <laughs> um, and then seven attacks for Dante. Come on, Dante. Take his head. Dante. Com Dante. Commander Dante. Commander Dante. 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 I mean, it was eight attacks. Why am I saying seven? Eight attacks. Dante. Hit on twos. Oh, oh Dante. And That's four leaf four. one to a six now, right? Or is that you could flip one to a six after you re-roll. I'll, I'll re-roll it. Yeah. And then... And then a flip one oh, to no. a six. <laughs> um, um, and then he's strength nine. So, so it'd be fives and five, fours. Fours now. Cool. Six saves. Right. So if I blank a damage, I live. But... The dramatic effect. <laughs> um, I'll keep two out. Okay. And then I'll roll this one. And I'll re-roll it with my ability. So three. I'm on three Louines left. Cool. Three so now hits. I can use the one CP to re-roll hits and wounds, I think. <laughs> uh, are you not out of CP? Maybe I missed you it. You would be out, right? No, I too. Oh, wait, yeah, sorry, yeah. Because I discarded a card. I've only done... Oh, it was Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch and nothing else. And nothing the rest else. of it's been Cabal Rituals. Yeah, that's the thing I'm getting okay. confused with is Cabal Rituals. Yeah, I, I have got yes. the yeah. wording. Because it's Cabal control. points, CP as well. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit... So yeah. I do apologise for any right. communication there, guys. All right. Um, I can't use re-roll hits and wounds. Uh, because he's not, it's not the shooting phase. You've got two CP, Jordan. Anything you want to do? There's nothing he can do. Well, I've got a four plus of vulnerable save and all of his stuff serve at AP1. Oh, yeah. okay. So, um, <laughs> let's just keep it as it is. Is it, is it AP2? <laughs> yeah. As well? Hmm? Is there anything AP2 coming in? Um, From it was just going to put him on his invul, right? Well, yeah, but Dante could be the last man standing and he's got two up save. Uh, How many attacks has Magnus got? He has... He's got a big sword. Seven attacks. Uh, hitting on two, strength 16, minus three, three damage, devs wounds. So okay. even if you are no pretending, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Right, um, the assault intercessors at the back. Yeah. So I'm going to put, I think I've got two that have to go into the wounded Rubik squad, and then the other three will go into yeah. the full wound squad. So we're going to get eight attacks onto the injured one. Dropping a couple there. Nice. Wounded and on fours. Fours. Uh, three, three wounds, minus one. And this is into which one? The injured the one. Yeah, the injured one. Uh, minus one, yeah. Yep, so, so one so dies and one's on a wound. So the appraising, whatever his name is. Aspiring sorcerer. Aspiring. Not exalted. Is he not there yet? No, he's he's trying, is he, he trying to be. to be a sorcerer? Yeah. Um, cool. Right, the other two into the full wound squads. And then wounded on fours. Yeah. Uh, Brilliant. So uh, two wounds, minus one. Uh, one fails thing. Um, and then power fist. <laughs> Is this into the... Same, into the four wound squad, right? Yeah. One wound. Uh, cool. Fight so Kills the guy in one wound. Nice. So, fighting... I'll do Magnus first. Yeah. He's cool. So... Two's to hit. Uh, I'll keep one out. Cool. Then two's to win with dev. Uh, okay, so... Five at minus three. So five, four open balls. Yep. And you only have five and your vets, yeah. right? So uh, two cool. failed. And then, so four will be total and they're flat three damage each. So cool. I'll so keep track. First, first one. First one. Uh, just to check, Jordan, what strength are Van Vets? Five, right? Five. Yeah. So, so five I plus one to wound. Because Aiden's just come in with it, should have been fours to wound. Strength no. six plus one to wound, but it's strength five plus yeah, one to wound. There's no um, captain. If there was a captain in the unit yeah. with a jump pack, then they oh. go to strength six. Also, also fire storm assault force only works for range weapons for the plus yes. one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. one's dead. So one's dead. Second one. Two dead. Third one. Is alive on wound. wound. And then does he die? He does. So, so I killed three. Three Vanguard vets die. Not bad. So let's take it in coherency at least. So one, you stay there. Yeah. Two, and then just take that, that one guy there, yeah. There you go. Nice one. Thank you. Good job, everyone. Uh, then, fighting. Uh, he's within an inch, so he gets to fight. So, freeze, all hit. Uh, freeze, rolling ones. So, three at minus one into the unit. Three at minus one. Uh, uh, okay, oh, wow. failed all okay. of them. Uh, two damage, two damage. See, now he's just, he's just okay. he's one press, a buying source. Maybe it's not going to be inspiring. You've got to take them wow. two and then mm -hmm. one at the end. Then. He really wants yeah. it. He really wants to be a source. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're mine now. Um, and then the... <laughs> just a little shimmy. <laughs> the, the fists. Uh, four. 
fours, re-rolling ones. Uh, three at no AP. That's cocked. Oh. There we go, all good. <laughs> and this, that is his stick. Uh, one dev, one at minus one. Save the minus one. And then the dev, there's one damage. Nice. <laughs> you didn't expect that, to be honest. Um, awesome. Cool. So, end of your turn. Um, I will get five on secure and five on teleport. Nice one. Good job, mate. Um, cool. So, start of my turn, I'm only going to get five primary. Yep. That's okay. Um, go up to two CP. Mm -hmm. My one card will be cleanse. Are you not up to one CP now? I thought you were on zero. No, because oh, I, I never spent wounds. it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I couldn't because um, I can't. I did not allow to. It would be G. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna. I don't know what else is in the deck. It's just the. Well, a lot of, just, just take... No, a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the kill ones are in the deck, and yeah, I don't true. really want to cleanse. So I'm actually gonna spend one CP on that to re-rack it. Okay. So one. It's no prisoners. Probably cool. the best yeah, one I could have nice. got. Fair play. Nice. All skill. Um, nice. Battle shocks. <laughs> oh yeah, battle shocks. So we've got this guy. He's fine. Magnus. He's fine. He's got to be leadership five, surely. Yes. Yeah, and Dante's oh. minus one leadership only yeah. works in the five uh, phase. One fella. Fine. This unit. He's There's got three, three, so it's fine. Yeah. Uh, nice. Oh, the one guy over there. Oh yeah, the one man. He's fine as well. Cool. Cool. So yeah, if you get to the top down, mute us. We'll sure. Talk stuff. Very good. Well, didn't quite get the um, kill there on Magnus. Sadly, but definitely not. Definitely feeling the burn. Definitely, um, definitely, um, uh, nearly got it. Nearly got it for sure. I think you know some low rolling on the saves could have done it. I want to see think, that. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I think the issue now is that Magnus stays there and just shoots uh, into combat with um, his non-blast weapons. Yeah, true. Commander Dante may need to have a lie down in a second. Well, you see, just I'm really hoping that come back that it. Magnus falls back. Oh. Within sight of Dante. <laughs> okay, I see where you're going here. Because that would be pretty cool. Can you overwatch someone who's falling back? Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's relentless. Overwatch is relentless. Uh, Even the person that you fell back from? They can do it, yes, provided they're not still in combat. Oh. Absolutely. That's pretty good. Um, do you yeah, think they should change strong. Overwatch to be like uh, in Age of Sigma, it's only in the charge phase? Because that's what it used to be, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it would be interesting like, to see Overwatch only work in the charge phase or only work after like a normal move. Yeah. So an advance or a fullback would get around it. I suppose they changed it because they wanted people to be able to do a bit more mm -hmm. in their yeah. opponent's turn and feel a bit more like they're not waiting, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I bet that little scout with the rocket launcher or the missile launcher even is going to nail a shot on Magnus and take him mm -hmm. out. Yeah. He's been face palming so long and his luck's going to turn up. Magnus yeah. is going to kill Dante. Well, take Dante out, you know. We don't know. Incapacitate Dante. Incapacitate Dante, right. not hurt anyone's yeah. feelings. Obviously, I and mean, then, he's, um, been, he's been severely hurt before and bounced back, so yeah. he's all right. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's interesting. It's an interesting uh, turn, this. Magnus has three wounds left? Magnus has three wounds remaining. Yeah. Yes. Three wounds. He's hurt. Jake he's hurt. is ready. What's going on, Jake? Right. Say, so, I had to do some reading. Oh. <laughs> Was that no. okay for you or no? No. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a task. So I was on. So, so you can use the double move on not a psyche unit because it just says you pick a psyche unit, and then you pick a unit of an eighteen of him. Cool. So what I've done is I've advanced the rhino, and I'm going to double move the rhino so then it gets on this objective. Very nice. That will get me extend, and then I'm going to try and doom bolt this unit, kill it hopefully, and then that will allow my rubrics to shoot at the scouts. Okay. And Magnus could just blast everything he's in combat with, and hopefully I'll be okay. Yes. Bear in mind that Magnus does have a blast weapon. Oh yeah. So the other um, weapon will have to go out of combat, but cool. his main okay. weapon, the gaze of Magnus. Stop looking at me. We'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to do it, and I'll have reroll hits and wounds as well. Um, it's so just with, so awkward. So with that in mind, so I'm going to spend my five cabal points. Is he doing like the um, the Magnum look? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's not. That's spin. pretty good. Um, so Jake, 13, can you give one. us a magnum? Or well, you can't roll the dice? Sorry, I, I, I got locked into no. sitting there. Hang on, sorry, I'm mathing. Right, there we go. So I'm on eight cabal points left, so just making sure I have enough to do everything. So double move on to this. How is it moving so fast? What is it doing? Make sure you're out of six to Dante. Oh, why? Just in case, because I'll oh, fall for the battle shot. 
Thank you. No. you I don't want you to out. forget that rule. Thank you. <laughs> and then he advanced anyway, so he can't shoot. And then I'm going to do... So that will leave me on one, and I'm going to doom bowl the unit of fellas. Oh, yeah. The flesh terrors. Yeah, whatever they're called. They will tear your wow. flesh. Um, so, I don't use this. How we many cabal points is doom bolt? Seven. Right. Okay. So I had eight after that. Okay. So, two up, take D3 plus three, which will just kill the unit. On a one, it takes D3. So D3 plus three, that kill the unit. If you oh, want to just put okay. him on the side, mate, that's fine. So those assault intercessors are doom bolted. Good job, everyone. They need to lie down. All right. Now let's do Magnus. Mm. Um, actually, no. I'll do the rubrics onto the scouts. Um, so we've got one. So I'll do this unit here. So only two of the flamers are in range. Yep. And then one of the psychic. So I'll do the psychic power first. Uh, <laughs> Flamer. Six shots. And this will be uh, fours, re-rolling wounds. Sixes are AP2. So one AP2, four AP1. Four AP1. Yeah. Damage? Uh, just one. Cool, so three saves. Cool. And one AP2. And one AP2, so six up. So two die. So. Sorry, you say two damage, yeah? Yeah. So there's one on a wound already. Um, oh, let's take that two. Them two. Cool. And then that's gone. Then into, from this guy, he's in range of all of it. So was the wounded guy not the one on the objective? Was no, it, I, I the just end? threw the dice over there. Yeah. Oh, I, I see, right, okay. Um, then Psycho Power, uh, one hit. Uh, can we roll the wound? Nothing. And then pistol, one shot. We roll the wound, nothing. Cool. Then, because I may have to kill that unit. Well, actually, I don't know. Actually, killing that unit's massive. So we're going to do, we're going to go for that one. Let's do, because Magnus has got a pretty big range. So unless I get them into the building, I'll be okay. So. God, I feel like Steve. So, so, right. <coughs> Oh no, it's this one. Okay. This this unit will shoot the infiltrators. Cool. So I'll go overcharge. So 2d6. So six. And these are freeze, re-rolling wounds. Mm -hmm. And every six is dev, I can re-roll. So I'm just going to fish for sixes. Do they just get re-roll wounds in 80? If you're on an objective. Oh. So Very four nice. dev and two at minus two with ignores cover. They can re-roll twice because you're on two objectives. Right, wow. okay. <laughs> Keep um, going! <laughs> right, they failed, so that's six failed damage. So it's all two damage each. Ooh. So uh, how cool. many have you got? Six. So first one, so six, I feel no pain. So I'm alive. Uh, mm -hmm. One guy dies, yeah. I could have used that in the next row. Next one. Oh, oh you got it! <laughs> okay, so Maybe two die. This actually sort of works out well, weirdly. Three die. Yeah. Four die. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so that we is... still have the one objective. Da, 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 da. That's really <laughs> handy for Jord there, guys. Well, so if the unit had been wiped, yeah. then that means that Jord would not have got five you died points potential with primary later. <laughs> Only thing is, I did, obviously because I did clear the whole unit, mm -hmm. still got warp, I got the psychic power. Yeah. Oh, the no. Range. He's got more. Freeze, one it's not going to kill. Uh, one mortal wound, because it's anti psychic anti I will anti take your mortal wounds, sir. Oh, cool. there's the man hurt himself. No, he doesn't. And this guy into here. Yep. Five, seven. Uh, that is three at minus two. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, just one damage each. Does he hurt himself? No, he doesn't. Very good. Then Magnus. So you gaze a Magnus into here. Mm -hmm. And because in this mission you don't score at the end, you score at the end of the game, I'm actually going to shoot the other gun into the scouts. Cool. I'm going to spend my last CP to reroll all my hit wounds. Cool. So gaze of Magnus into the unit he's in combat with. That's a lot. So this will be normally freeze because of the minus one for being in combat. I don't think he brackets. He probably does. It is, it is uh, age. <laughs> wow. He has been around for thousands of uh, tens of thousands of years. He does. So he'll be minus one. So the plus one will just still put him on freeze. Yep. So into the unit he's in combat with. Freeze. Any strats here? Uh, yeah, I spent reroll hits. Reroll hits and wounds, okay. Cool. And then two to wound, just fishing for dev to be honest. So one dev and four, and you'll have to do two at a time, two at a time please. So okay. five. Ooh. So one, one goes through. So three damage each on the Vanguard vets. Okay, and there's two that have gone through, right? Because one's a dev and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first one dies. Dies. Second one. Dies. So now they're split. So I do get no prisoners for two. Uh, for, I've killed two. two guys. Oh, yeah, sure. right. so I've killed two units so far. 
Cheers, dude. And then into the scouts, and that may get me all of them. So d6 plus three. Uh, so this will be freeze, re-rolling. Thank you, re-roll hits wings. Mm. And then twos. Can re-roll it. Oh, no. <laughs> one at minus two. No, minus one. So okay, go flat two. two. Cool, so one oh. dice. Wouldn't, no, wouldn't have taken I those shouldn't chances. Have it. Shouldn't have re-rolled it. Silly Billy. Um, so then I need an 11 with him and a 10 with him. So let's give it a go. Okay. Why not? <laughs> um, so no 11. Nope. Ten. Yay! Uh, Jord can do it. So can Jake. That's a big, <laughs> big charge. <laughs> um, and then... That's it. Can you take a battle shock on Magnus, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, he's fine. Oh, no, oh, minus yeah. one. He will oh, fail. Oh, because I'm below half. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, that's a moral victory, <laughs> guys. It's just, it's just, <laughs> oh, no. It's just Dante's ability makes you minus one. It's yeah. quite, quite nice. So, it's so good. I, I will say this. I do think it's so underestimated. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, because... Underrate, yeah. Underrated. It's very underrated. Like, it's such... If you can ever get battle shock at minus one, do it. <laughs> do it. Like, it, it puts your opponent's plans at risk um, all the time. I'm then going to charge the two Ds into the battle predator. You so what? Character... He's in. Ooh. With a five. Well, you want to overwatch? Oh, I, I can't. can't see. No. Yeah. And then this one. So the, ba the way that these buildings work, because we're playing UKTC style, is these are supposed to be like an L shaped. So effectively, this wall here and there is like a ruin obscured. Yeah. Line of sight blocking. You can't yeah. see through nice. it. Right. Yeah. And then that's it. So I get to do my fighting first, but then you get to fight me with one of these before. Well, which is you know who it's going to be. <laughs> dun, 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 Dante. Dante. Oh. Dante. And the Sorry. crowd goes <laughs> mild. Right. So mild? Wow. Mild. Unit. Nice. Uh, fours. Rerolling. So, uh, free at no AP. And then this is before the man with stick. Oh, so <laughs> okay. I, could, I could get sticked. No, I won't. I will be fine. Don't get pumped. Yeah, get shadow boxed. <laughs> Freeze. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. Three at minus one. <laughs> oh, he's, 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 he's squished. I learned my lesson. <laughs> right, I'm a big dude. enough man to admit it. And a handsome one. So. Barbred? Uh, yeah, so I actually know what this command does. I'm going to... Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep my CP. Because I need to... Just to confirm, you've got three CP, George. I've got two. Two CP. Okay. Man on disc. He's got force weapon. Twos. All hit. Five with dev. Say so one at minus one. Four up. Nope. Uh, D3. What do you mean one he's damage. doing to that? Oh, I think he's getting a little tickle. Other man with, with stick. that left hand there. Uh... One hit. Uh, no wounds. So you are on a wound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can breathe. All right, now... Da oh. Dante, 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 Dante. Right, Dante. I'm going to push one to wounds. Hiya! 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 <laughs> right, hit on twos. So there's no lethal here. But I do get to... Re do I do have lethal. Mate. Because what? Dante has lethal. Oh, he in. does anyway. He is a lethal man, so he's, I'm going he's to lethal re all of them. <laughs> Okay, well, I've just missed three. We actually missed one. Uh, <laughs> ah, it works both ways. <laughs> uh, but wounding you on fours. Fours, yeah. Three wounds. I don't have enough to blank a damage. Um, so I might as well just roll them all the same. How much damage? Oh, minus one damage to your... So I have to fail them all. Yeah. How many? Four. Three. Three, okay. I fell them all. He's no dead. No way. <laughs> Does he explode? And that is the end of the game. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Does he explode? Let's oh, no, 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 no. Uh, please, please. <laughs> I will gaze at you back. Loving he does. <laughs> no. <laughs> Magnus doesn't just implode. There we go. Ooh. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you. There we go. Love you, dude. <laughs> Poor Magnus. He survived a lot longer than when I last used him, to be fair. Um, and anyone who says that Dante's not worth it, Stephen... Okay. <laughs> He's not wrong. Okay, do your bow credit. <laughs> Four attacks. Before we enrage I'm gonna, like the I'm Blood Angel fans. I'm going to punch that guy. All two of them. And they're both in the room. Ooh, tasty. Who are you hitting? The, the, the little man. Little man. Yeah. Uh, three wounds. Cool. No uh, AP. He's on a wound. Ooh. What a legend. Right. There we go. So, with that in mind, that's going to give me five or no prisoners, five on extend battle lines. Very nice. And then, George, going into your turn, you're going to get five on the primary to start. And then well, I, I'm going to have to spend a CP because I yeah, just want oh, to auto-pass yeah, auto auto him. So I'll go down to one CP in, Jake, in my turn. 
Um, Oath Target. Now, this is a weird one, right? Because yeah, the big model's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who do I choose? <laughs> it's going to be the Rhino. And what? Oh, secondaries. Cleanse. Cleanse. And no prisoners. I'm going to spend a CP to get rid of cleanse. I was going to say it's probably a good shout because if you get no, capture any outposts, it's great. Capture any outposts! <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was stripped. <laughs> Oh, no. It was foretold. Yeah. So, it was foretold. Yeah, so you're legends. going to put everything into this, right? Absolutely, Jake. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> so Lewis is going to be going for that rhino. <laughs> <Whee. laughs> right, um, you can go to top down. I've probably got a few things just to make sure. Fantastic. Uh, good timing as well. Mandy has come in with a super chat. Dante is worth it. It's the sanguinor that goes down faster than a prom dress. I think, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I think the Sanguinors is one of the best characters in the game. Jake disagrees and thinks the Sanguinors is one of the best characters in the game. Yeah. And it has been doing well on top tables in, in top lists yeah. with Sons. So, um, yeah. I started it first. <laughs> I was running Sanguinor for anyone else. That's wow. my one claim. In your Iron Storm <laughs> list, wasn't it? I, yeah. I genuinely have not. I've run the Sanguinor once, yeah. so. I, I ran him for at least. Like a lot of Blood Angels characters, he's overcosted. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my opinion on him. I think 140 points for the Sanguinor yeah. is a bit too much. Um, oh, can I Overwatch? You, you I may just well. Overwatch the deed with the worst save. Yeah, because you can't. Oh, does he, does he only have Fun of Fame when he's leading you? Then? Yes. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's. I don't think there's any ability in a game where you have where you. Give like something to a unit yeah. as a character that stays after you lose a unit. Right. I got a combi bolter. Oh. <laughs> no. And then I got a habit launcher. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> this, this prom dress is staying on. <laughs> right. Uh, so Finally, <laughs> someone's. <laughs> Look at you, Stephen. <laughs> uh, shooting phase. Yeah. Um, so bowl pred. Um, the big bowl flamestorm cannon is going to go into this guy no. here. <laughs> Um, and the heavy flamers are going to go into this guy here. Yeah. And storm bolters will just go into that guy there as well. Cool. So heavy flamers, four shots, uh, four wounds, minus one on the rubric marine. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, no, he's dead. Poor little fella. There you go, dude. Thank you. And then the flame storm cannon. He's got six shots. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> uh, four wounds on that one guy. Uh, Minus he two. fails two. Two damage each. Now, he, I think, has five wounds. <laughs> Let's have Ooh. a look. He what has your, six, actually. What were your two cards? Is capturing the outpost and... No prisoners. No prisoners. prisoners. So you've already got one unit for no prisoners. Um, um, he's on two. I'll, yeah, I'll put it right. on two, yeah. Yeah. Dante, Inferno. And then Inferno. the Bolt oh. Storm. Or storm oh, yeah, Bolt. Storm thing. Uh, two. Yeah. Uh, Nothing. And then Dante's, Dante's Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Do you um, want to re -roll? I'm going to re-roll it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Uh, uh, strength nine. So fours. Fours, yeah. No. Uh, cool. It's the charge. <laughs> it's the charge phase. <laughs> it's the charge phase. Uh, charges. Yeah. These guys multi-charge in here. Yeah, because you can put the mortals into, into that guy. Uh, three. So you, are we are saying, are they, can they get on yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a wall. So, so you're just not going to be in base. That's the only thing. Yeah. So, which does affect... I won't... I think it's... Yeah, because you have to be in engagement range. Oh, so they would no, be. No, so you would yeah, be so I'll be, be able to, I will be able so to do So three of them can do it on him, but yeah. then you'll get to fight them. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Dante into the Rhino. Yeah. Sang Priest. Yeah. Bad day. <laughs> um, so we'll do... We'll do the Mortals here first. Yeah. So I'll have to put three here. Yeah. Uh, it'll have to be two, because only two can get an engagement okay. there. Uh, One. So he's three on Wound. Yeah, so he oh, he's already on a wound. He's, he's on dead. a wound. He is dead. Poor fella. So that's another unit for any prisoners. Um, and then we'll do Dante's attacks. Yeah. So eight attacks. I'm going to fish for them lethals. Yeah. Kill cool. three. Uh, um, strength. He's strength seven. So five. Five. Nothing. More so legend. three at minus three. Uh, six up. Uh, so okay, how much damage? Two damage. Oh. Okay, so I'm on right, four. Okay. Um, so did, you, did you use plus one to wound for Dante? I don't have a CP. Oh, I thought you had. Oh, of course you had to spend it on. I had to spend it on the redraw and the redraw. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do have the Sang Priest. Yeah. Cool. Uh, he hits on twos actually. Oh nice. Uh, yeah. For uh, no. sixes. No. Okay, so we we've contested this. Contested it. Yeah. Okay, so oh, don't... battle shock. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this now? Well, so minus one. It's fine. Oh, He's yeah. really Double not six. afraid. Spirit Rhino! 
Ah! These guys going into here. He's so angry. So we'll put. Oh, it's all one so unit, isn't on, it? So I do the chainsaw first because there's one more wing. Yeah. So we got uh, three chainsaws. Take out the ones and twos. Mm -hmm. Wounding you on fours. Oof. Nice. Get in, lads. Oh, no. Uh, six wounds and minus one. Uh, it's all minus one. So, hang on, sorry. Three. Fine. So now they're all dead. Cool. And now this is on the man. Uh, there was only six. So now oh, it's the okay. power fist into the guard. Oh, that's all right. Cool. Oh. Oh. Right, power fist. Uh, two. Yeah. Two wounds. Uh, roll one at a time. Fine, so I don't need to worry about the other one. Cool. Number two. I'll fight you back. Raw. With oh, this guy here? Yeah, I should have done that one first. I thought you were. Uh, freeze. Did, did the Vile Predator not cook that guy? No. No. He oh got God. six wounds and he's got the invo, hasn't he? So oh, yeah, cool. Two at minus one. Two at minus one. Oh, he's going to run me over. Right, four attacks. Beep, beep. <laughs> he's hit you three times. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> wounded you on threes. Freeze, yeah. Okay. Two wounds. Oh, no. He's on the wing. He's on the wing. Calm yourself. <laughs> um, right, now I've got the other guy. Uh, well, the biggest compliment of all, George, someone's ooh. just asked, is that an LPP Dante? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, we no. live in the big leagues, boys. <laughs> no, who is this my Dante? <laughs> <laughs> uh, freeze. And I'm going to turn that to a six. That's Yay. all dev. <laughs> oh, four dev? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 it's D3 damage. So, first one, dead. Dead. And so, it kills right. three. So, that means we can test that one. Mr. As well. Power oh, Fist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is mad. Best thing that could have happened because now we've just contested both of these. Oh, and Rhino's going to slam the um, Sang Priest. Cool. One hit, one wound, no AP. That ghost from Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> and, that, and that's the game. <laughs> what did it know? That was a. Well, um, the thing is, right, if Dante's two gone through, if you didn't get double six, you would have killed the Rhino. That is, so, you're right. <laughs> so, like... Well, if, even if so I just pass one. What, ob fair, yeah. fair. what objectives are you on at the end of the um, game? Because you get I'll, five points per. I'll be on five. Oh, is that, get, is that round five? Yeah. Oh! That's what I was saying. This is why it's quite I thought that was only turn four. No, that's no. turn five. So that, that's why I was saying that's quite an important turn. Oh, when you I got thought I had another turn. Outplay, that's why yeah. I've been so chill about it. I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> right. I'll do it for one more turn. <laughs> five on that one. George's also going to get five. So you're both getting five for primary. Yeah. And George's also going to get another five on no prisoners, if you haven't counted that already. Okay, so you both hold one objective each at yeah. the end of the game. Yeah, because I hold the far one. George holds his one. Okay. All right. So let me update the score on here. Now, good. Jake. Yeah. You have a grand total. I thought you said a grand. <laughs> Five <Wow>. points. <laughs> Who needs more ammo? <laughs> 89 victory points. Okay, I'll take that. So what did I... I assume I dropped primary? Uh, yes, yeah, primary. The, but I got the max on the cards. Yes, you got 10 primary. Um, and you must oh. have dropped one on the cards somewhere. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, and then Jordan... <laughs> Probably like 40, 50, 60... You got 74 victory oh. points. However, if I add on capture enemy outpost and two more objective markers, so if that guy with the you staff hadn't won. whipped that yeah. jump pack unit, and if you'd taken his home objective, it would have been an 89.90 to the Blood Angels. No way. Wow. That's how <laughs> clutch that rhino kill uh, potentially that right flank yes. as well. Um, <laughs> That's what we like from Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, no, so what an immense game that was. Yeah. Um, really well played, both of you. I Jake. Your red card. <laughs> Jake played the thousands really well, mate. Um, <laughs> don't sound too le surprised. <laughs> wow, we actually did time. something. <laughs> uh, and and Jordan, the Blood Angels, first experience so, into Thousand Sons. I will. Say, it's my second game against Thousand Sons. I haven't played them in a long time, but. In all fairness, like obviously, massive apologies at the start for the rapid ingress confusion and stuff that happened. Um, yeah, but on the whole, um, Firestorm's interesting. I'm only taking it just because of the enhancements, if I'm honest. So it's not, it's not, You're just taking it so you it's make literally not better. a competitive take on Blood Angels. Like, I will say that now. Um, Sons of Sanguinius is probably the way um, if you are going to run Blood Angels competitively. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed it though. I think Sangar definitely aren't worth it. Uh, like, Why? I could have told you that from the start of the game. Oh um, my god! What? It's sad. It's sad because I love my no golden way. boys, but 
they just don't like not worth their it. abilities only work in combat. Yeah, um, that is really tonk. Like I'd rather like it would make more sense if their rule was the like generic. Like if, strength, if your strength's higher than your top, you know, like that makes loads yeah. of sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think like the Vanguard vets and Dante. Like if you're a Blood Angels player, put it in. Like honestly, it's so yeah, good. Yeah, even that little five man unit. Like the really five man good. unit's so good. But imagine that as a ten man unit. Like it can take on most things. Um, but you just got to learn how to use it because if you lose that unit, that's caught with your army gone. Yeah. As we've seen in this game, like I've got three bricks in this army, right? Well, four if you include the land raider. <laughs> yeah, I've got look at I can much... think of another way to describe them. Does land raider? Like, yeah. <laughs> literally, look at how many things, like how much it impacts the game. Though, when you lose these big units, which is why I think we're seeing in the meta all these armies going to more MSU builds. Oh yeah. Because of how massive it is when you lose these big squads. Oh yeah, if you um, put all your eggs in one basket, you're just going to naturally suffer a bit. You need to kind of like practice with that list. Yeah. So if you're taking big units, and you can understand when to hit and when not to, yeah. right? Um, oh, it, it also it allows you to um, make more mistakes. Yeah. Like so, you, you you know, if you've got three units of five rather than one unit, you mm -hmm. can essentially throw one out. If that was a mistake, you have two more yeah. goes. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Did chat enjoy the game? No. That's yes, they I absolutely am. did. Um, I think there might be. I may have given Jake five many t too many points from a primary. I think you got five in one turn. I got five on in one primary. turn, and um, but yeah. that's by the by. So eighty four, seventy four. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, chat enjoyed it. I mean, really close game, uh, well played, um, and yeah, very interesting to see Firestorm um, and the Thousand Suns. Yeah, yeah. So like good Dante stuff, guys. As well, lots yeah. of Dante hype. There's people saying Captain's literally just better. Not in George's hands. So, look, he, he is. he's not better. He's not. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's literally not better. It's just the points. Yeah. That's the only argument that it, that's against Dante is he's 125 points, whereas the captain's 80. Mm -hmm. So And the captain lets you do a free strap. Lets you do a free strap. But Dante himself absolutely slaps. Like, honestly, the amount of things I've... I know he, he does wonders for me. Like, the amount of, like, amazing stories I've got with Dante killing things mm -hmm. is... But... That's Steve's, by the way, so... Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, it's not mine, it's Steve's. Yeah, mine's... In, uh, in oh, yeah, so it's not, so it's not <laughs> yours, then. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> I forgot I was Be fair, Steve's. Is that you have the same basing as his, so... Yeah, yeah. mine's actually fully painted. <clears throat> uh, what's, what's not painted on his? Uh, he's got a black helmet on the bottom. He doesn't. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Look Where? On, the, on the bottom of the base. Get a cinematic camera up, let's see it. Right. Oh, he 64 points for Jordan. He's not paying. It's not mine. I don't care. You're using it. This <laughs> army's not mine. Um, yeah, multiple small units is what MSU means, guys. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Yep, great game. And uh, I like Thousand Suns. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.